couple years ago. Wade graduated last year. They have Quentin that's going through the school. They have you know other children that are that are in elementary school with Rosalind and Cambry. Um, so thank you again for your donation and five chances to win a TV here. Um, it's one for each child. So um, awesome. We have number fifty for Trisha. Trisha also helps out in our lunch program. Number eleven. Number 145, number 150, and number 78. Number 78, Trisha Schwager, good luck to you, um, and, and good luck. I, you know, I, I don't think there's any TV in the back there by the kitchen, but, but, you know, I mean, over the course of next year, we're talking about our lunches and how those might serve. We have a meeting coming up with our lunch staff next week, um, and so we're going to be talking about how lunches can run. Well, we got to space kids out a little bit more. So lunch periods are going to go a little longer. Maybe getting a TV back there by the kitchen, you know, that would be a nice way to give back to. What, YouTube's live again? Our, all right. Mass just ended. So if you are joining us um, through Ga Bellevue Cable or if you are joining us through YouTube, we are back on with you now. Um, awesome. Time is flying when you're having fun. I mean, I don't even know what time it is. Let me just... Yeah, we're already at 5 o'clock. We've already been going three hours strong. We're halfway uh, through our night here tonight. We have three hours left um, before our night ends. And so, again, for all of you that are, are joining us on YouTube, if you're joining us on uh, the Bellevue Cable channel, welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining us with here tonight. We have a lot of things that are taking place. I'm going to finish out all of our items um, that, that people, uh, uh, you know, they haven't talked about yet. And then following that, I'll explain once again, how our raffles are working and some of the goings on, because I know that some of you have been joining in over the course of this last um, hour, and especially really uh, after mass, I think we're going to have more people. And if you're looking for what to do first, um, you know, whether it be a water, whether it be a, a, a cold beverage, whether it be whatever it is that you would like to drink with us tonight, a good idea to do because we have yet to ring the buy it now bell for a buy it now item. There are some items that have buy it now prices to it. If we have anybody do that, we are all going to raise a toast to you for your donation and for your, your support. We'll ring the bell and we'll celebrate with you with a drink and a toast to you um, for your, your gift. We already did it once uh, for a $1,000 uh, donation um, that, was, that was made to the school that came in. So we'd love to continue doing that throughout the course of our night tonight. If you're wondering why I'm up here all alone, it is because we are really doing our part to social distance. In the back here, I have um, six different large tables that are set up. We got one person at each one of those tables. Chris is over here um, right, right by me helping out and providing some support. Um, but, but we wanted to make sure that we keep everybody healthy and safe. Uh, masks are being worn by everybody that, that's working in the back here. Uh, just so you know, it's, it's quite a sight to see for myself as, as this is magic of children as we've never thought it would ever happen. I know, I know come six months ago, who would have thought that this is, this is what our event would be like? But where there's a will, there's a way, and there was a will to have a school year that was going to be successful even after March 16th, and our teachers worked hard and they found a way. There was a, where there's a will, there's a way. And so when we started looking at how we can improve for next year, we started looking at different ideas that we could do to make next year an enjoyable um, year that, that one, that students can move seamlessly through their interactions with um, online learning and with learning in person. So maybe you're watching this and you, you have children um, that, that you're saying, I don't know how our school is going to run next year. Well, just so you know how Marquette's going to be trying to do this next year is we are purchasing one of the things that you can give to tonight is the COVID relief. We have little speakers like this. They're Bluetooth speakers. Um, they're louder than what they look like. I mean, this speaker doesn't look like it would punch, give much punch, but actually they get pretty loud. But they also double as a microphone. Set this up in a, in a student's classroom. And so that way, students can have in-class discussions, even if they're sitting at home. How cool is that? So even if you have a student, you know, a lot of the times people aren't even sick. They just were around somebody who was sick. And then they get told, I'm sorry, you're going to have to be out for two weeks. Two weeks of trying to make up homework. Two weeks of trying to not be in any classroom, not have any, you know, not have any interaction with classmates unless they contact or reach out by phone. Two weeks of 
of wondering what's happening at school. They don't have to worry about that. What happens here is that we, every teacher will have a, a webcam like what we're using here today. Um, they're going to have the opportunity to, to have in-class discussions, live stream, live classes with students. That, that is uh, something that we, you know, cost, cost money to do to move our classrooms outside of the school. But, but it helps us. And then in the event that if we have to go to full digital learning by any chance, then teachers can take this technology with them when they're at home or if they still come up to the school. And the school day operates just the same as it would as if we were meeting live and in class. Your teachers have been extreme, like, you, you, you got to, if you know Marquette, if you've been around Marquette, you know the quality of teachers that we have here and their commitment. Again, our question was never, are we going to do something? Our question was always, how are we going to make it work? And this is how we, we wanted to make it at work. And then thank you again for joining with us on the Magic of Children as we talk about how we can make a Magic of Children work. And based on our numbers, what we have right now and how things are going, it is working. But it's not working without you. It isn't working without those of you who are following along, who are bidding, who are making donations, who are joining the raffles, who are helping out in any way, uh, matching gifts, and so on and so forth. Chris, could you update this real quick? We are now at $14,489 that have all been pledged um, here tonight through Bidding Owl. So thank you uh, for all of those who are, who are doing this. We hope this number continues to, to, to go up um, throughout the course of this evening. We only have three hours left of the Magic of Children. Only three hours remain um, before this, is, this night is done. And we wrap up everything with Magic of Children for this year, which Karenza could tell you has been a long time coming. So we are happy um, to be finally able to have this event. And again, it became a question of how are we going to be able to make this work? And it only works with you. So thank you again for all of your support. Let's talk about a couple of these other packages. Um, talked about the blankets. That was the last thing I mentioned. Mighty Mist Designs and Printing. I forgot to mention Mighty Mist. Um, Mighty Mist is right here in town. Uh, they make awesome designs for both Bellevue Comets, for Marquette, for a lot of other really good causes. So whatever, whoever you support, whatever schools uh, you want to cheer on, go out to Mighty Mist and see what they have. Because for all of your fan apparel, Mighty Mist is a great place to, uh, to go to. Thank you so much uh, for your donation and helping us put this uh, kindergarten quilt together. Next package I want to talk about, I already mentioned it once before, but it's the ice cream package from Grandpa's Parlor. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. A three-gallon tub of your favorite ice cream from Grandpa's Parlor. Myself, it's the Hotel Chocolate. I was just out there the other day and got myself some of that. It's a real, real rich, deep uh, chocolate. And if you're buying this from far away, hey, you know what? Make a trip up to Bellevue and you'll find out why everybody goes out to Grandpa's Parlor for an ice cream over the summer. Uh, Eric and Kim Schrader have donated that. I mentioned before, Gail Mickles and Rogers Manders on the pit ham. Um, that, that is also another large package of, of ham. Again, if you're getting ready for Christmas or something like that, this, this ham has no bone. 17 to 18 pounds usually sells for $6 a pound. Uh, it will be fully cooked for you. You don't even have to worry about cooking it. Buy it, and then, you know, you got Christmas dinner ready for you when you have that family get-together or Easter or whenever you want to get it. Steve Tabby and River Ridge and Seven Hills and Jubeck are all teaming up together to bring you a brewery trip with you and nine of your closest friends. You start over at River Ridge Brewing. Steve will help, help get you to the next breweries. You don't even have to worry about driving then. He'll even drive you back home. So what you're going to do is you're going to visit the... Um, the first one is the River Ridge Brewing here in Bellevue. Then you head on over to Jubeck, and then you head over to um, Seven Hills uh, Brewery, and you'll be able to check out all of those breweries. You can, you can make your favorite, decide which one you like the most as you go through, have a bet against your friends, and, and at the end of the night, decide which one was the best experience. We have Extreme, extreme Sports Session. If you've ever seen those photos of like somebody hitting a baseball, it looks like you know, water splashing or that, you know, the, the, the bat is electrocuted or whatever it might be. You know what? We have somebody right here in town, DTS Photography. Jennifer Dima does all of that work. She'll, she'll work. It's a $400 uh, package. So she'll work with you, getting your, your young athlete um, to be able to look the part of a professional athlete, uh, getting their picture taken, editing it for you and getting some prints to you. I mean, how awesome is that, uh, that, you know, all of the things that your child 
um, is doing that you can, you can put into a keepsake with a photo. A photo's worth a thousand words, and uh, you get the opportunity to work with somebody right here and support Marquette while in the process. I talked about that USA flag. Gene and Sharon Conrad uh, helped to donate that. Also, I did not mention in my video the other day um, about the senior quilt. Rhonda Petish, uh, Joe Fifield, and the senior class helped put that senior quilt together. Uh, so thank you for all of those uh, that, that put that item together. Again, that's always one of a, a big seller. Um, and this year, I have a feeling it's going to be a really big seller for us be, because, again, it's a buying a piece piece of history. We'll take that down in a little bit and be able to show you a close-up of, of the different um, uh, students of her senior class. Talked about the wagon rides uh, by Stephen, Kathy, Tebby, as well as Jim and Jennifer Klein and the fun that you'll have there. Um, there are three packages there. Talked about the canned beef. If Tommy Colt is still watching, to, hey, Tommy, you've never had canned beef like what Gail Nichols makes. You're going to want to make sure to get that. Um, so, so definitely your, your family will love it. Uh, we talked about the fire pit. Uh, we did not talk, oh, we did talk about the bacon, pork chops, ham, and sausage. This was a package that Wade Schwager, a uh, class of 2020, is donating. We talked about the uh, Camus dinner, the Iowa Hawkeye beanbags. I did not talk, uh, there's only one item I did not talk about yet. It's this park bench right over here. If you have a patio, if you have a, a place where, you know, you got a, a nice covered uh, place, but I think this, this wood has been treated very well. Uh, where you would like a Marquette bench uh, put there. It's got this beautiful Marquette logo and this, this great six-foot bench. I uh, would look good anywhere. Um, you know, in, indoors or outdoors, th this bench would look, would, would fit the part. So bid on this. I, if, I wish, this, this, this kind of bench is the reason why I wish we were able to meet in person. Because if you saw this bench live, you would say, it's worth three times whatever the bid is on there right now. I have no idea what the bid is on there right now, but you would just say it's, it's, worth, it's worth three times that. So if you're watching from home right now, mark my words, it's worth three times whatever the bid is there right now. So don't, don't miss your chance to win that. I think we've talked about now every item that is on our Magic of Children. Um, Chris, do you are we able to zoom in at least with one of the cameras here? for the? Okay, so if you are watching on YouTube, if you are watching, uh, is that the YouTube camera or is that the Zoom? Okay, so if you are on Zoom, if you are on Zoom, um, you're going to be able to see a close-up of these uh, quilts. If you are not on Zoom, we'll try to find a way to get these quilts to you so you can take a look at them before the night is done. But we are going to let you know. Oh, yes, yes, okay. So, um, oh, good, good point here, okay. So I'll make a point of that in a second. I'm going to stand over here by these quilts. Our senior class quilt is a very unique senior class quilt because the class of 2020 was a very unique class. They were fun to work with throughout the course of their time here at Marquette, but now their time at Marquette is over. A lot of people did not get a chance to see what the senior class quilt looked like. And I, 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 I wish that we were able to show, um, we'll, we'll do our best again to be able to show everybody what everybody's spot looks like. But for Lexi Metz, for Avery Sieverding, for Parker Mueller, for Hallie Kilberg, for Lucas Sieverding, for Wade Schwager, for Nick Hager, for Joe Anderson, Matt Brinker, Catherine Heimbuck, John McHugh, Hannah Sieverding, Spencer Hoxmeyer, Miranda Peters. I love this, this one. Oh, Tori Mickles. I was trying to find her name on it. She kind of hit it between her swimming cap right here with the, with the, <laughs> with the um, Mickey ears on it. That's very nice. Kelsey Gerlach, as well as, let's see, who am I missing? Oh, um, Evie Berthel. This, this quilt was put together. Each senior gets their own square on this quilt and a square that they designed to represent who they are in their time at Marquette. And I, I'm looking at it. I mean, they, they definitely did that. You have like Matt Brinker who put, you know, the basketball, the baseball, and a Mountain Dew logo and a deer. Um, Miranda Peters who has the, the three crosses with a rainbow. Um, everybody puts, puts who they are into this quilt. And again, I mentioned before, a great gift for your child, um, either to bring with them when they go to college. So if they're ever feeling homesick, they can look at this quilt and remember all of their classmates, remember the support they had for all these years, um, or, if, or to keep at home. So maybe you rip it up and then when they get married, you give it to as a, as a wedding gift saying, you know, remember, remember where you came from and remember what, what values you learned at Marquette. We also have this kindergarten quilt where each kindergarten student um, put together a, a picture of what they 
they look like. And so um, our 26 different kindergartners each had an opportunity uh, to put together a, a picture of themselves and remember that kindergarten class that they started at Marquette with. And they each, they each put their own personality in, in their drawings uh, too. So really a, a fun um, item. And if you had a kindergartner in the class last, last year, um, to get a, a re, uh, something to remind you of this, this unique year and who their classmates were that experienced it with them, uh, this quilt is, is available um, also here tonight. Awesome. So again, here we have a lot going on and we still have uh, almost three hours left. I want to make a reminder, I'll stand back in front of the camera, make a reminder that please, if you are able to, if you are able to, and I know not everybody has the same ability to do this, if you know somebody at Marquette, we're going to trust you and that we'll get the money from you via cash or check. Okay, so if you're if you're buying something, if you go to checkout right now and check out with a credit card, if that's the best way that you have to pay, like I was talking to Tommy Colt here a little bit a while ago. Okay, Tommy, Tommy, you can write me a check, and I trust that you're going to get it to me. Don't worry if if uh, you know he lives in Dubuque, might not be as connected with some of the people around um, uh, Bellevue. But if you have connections, let them know that you'll write them a check, and we'll be able to take your money that way. Anytime a credit card is used, there is a two percent fee that Marquette. Um, pays towards that. And again, we're happy to pay for it if you're making a donation, if it means that that's the only way that you have to give. If you can pay by check or cash, that is that is preferred. You can contact Karenza Ketman, uh, Karenza Ketman at marketcatholic.com. Her email is also listed on the bidding site main page. And you can reach out to her just to let her know that, oh, hey, I, I won this. Instead of going to uh, cash or to check out at that time, reach out to her and see if there's a... Uh, a mailing address, again, we'll be able to make it work with you and try to help that out. And we are now over $15,000 um, that has been raised. 15000 this actually rose since the time it was written by about another $250. So we were at 15214 um, when I got this, and now we're at 15509 So thank you. To everyone that is participating, if you just finished with Mass and you know you, you are watching us now on the Bellevue Cable Channel, watching us on YouTube, we go tonight um, all the way until 8 o'clock with our, with our auction on BiddingOwl.com. And you can follow instructions for how to do that. I put up a video yesterday. Just pause this video. Watch the other video for a little bit. This video that we're putting together and encouraging people to bid, encouraging people to participate, this is all very good. But if I go off, if for some reason our cameras go down, Bidding Owl will still be there for you to continue supporting our school. There's nothing that you need to know 100% through this. So if you turn off this at any point, you're not missing anything other than our encouragement and our support of you as you provide encouragement and support for us and our school. So... We have Bidding Owl that's up. I'm going to talk about how our TV raffle will work because um, I haven't done that for a little bit. But I, first, I'm going to grab a quick uh, a sip of water because um, I'm going to also find out if, if uh, we have extra uh, people coming in. So I'll give you just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, oh, awesome. And I have another announcement right here. So, yeah. So I, in the back, they just said, hey, if you are reaching out to us on Facebook and Zoom, they said, thank you so much. And I want to honestly thank you, too. I don't get a chance to read the comments as they're coming in because I'm standing up here and I'm just, you know, talking and sharing about what's going on with our magic of children. I just learned that I'm going to be the host for the, for, for the rest of the evening, too. So, <laughs> so, so. I appreciate your patience with me. If I sound repetitive, if you're getting tired of my voice, uh, again, I, I do apologize for that. But man, I get excited about what next year is going to look like. And I can talk about that for hours. I get excited about, I, again, the opportunities here we have to support Marquette, the opportunities we have to, to come together for a really, really good cause. And as a principal of the school, how could I not be excited for this? And if you're at home and you're getting excited about what's going on here, following this feed, 
following what's going on. Don't keep this excitement to yourself. When I started at Marquette, one of the first things I said is, Marquette is one of the best kept secrets in, in Iowa. I mean, the fact that we have this awesome Catholic school here located in rural Iowa, don't keep this school a secret to yourself. Well, please don't keep this auction a secret to what Bellevue, what's going around Bellevue. Maybe you want to increase your chances of winning an item so you don't want to tell everybody what's happening here. Don't do that. Say, reach out to somebody and say, look, Marquette's having this auction. They got a small Catholic school over in rural Iowa. A lot of people had Catholic schools like ours when they were kids. And they would give to a school like ours if they knew that we were raising money here tonight. Reach out to somebody that you think might give. Say, look, if you want to make a donation, I'll help make it for you and help somebody make a donation to Marquette here tonight. Every little bit counts. Every little bit is important. And if it's a $10 uh, donation that you buy a golf ball to put into our Samsung TV raffle, hey, that's $10 more that helps support a child's education. If you have the resources to be able to say, look, I want to help out with the matching gift, reach out and help out with the matching gift. Our matching gift that Gail Mickles and Roger Manders put together, $1,000 matching gift. We already have raised $730 towards that cause. $730 on a matching gift that, that you know, you double that. That's almost $1,500. That Andy's nodding his head. He goes, yes, that math is correct, Jeff. Congratulations. That's almost $1,500 um, that is, is already being pledged uh, towards that cause. So we, we still have some room to go. And maybe you want to say, look, I want to help out with a matching gift. I got $500. I have $1,000. I want that to go towards um, a matching gift. I can make that happen. So please, please, please consider a gift to do so. I have a couple other announcements here. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a buy it now on, Le on Lester's Nuts? Hey, we can ring the bell. I, I am not surprised. We have Lester's Nuts. Hickory nuts that have been hand cracked by Lester. One bag is now sold for $300. Not a surprise. Let's ring the bell. And let, can, can I, do you think the person that bid it for it would be all right with me sharing? Okay. Okay. So for North family and friends, as well as for Lester on cracking these nuts, everybody, please raise a glass of whatever it is that you're drinking, and let's have a toast to Lester for, for the wonderful hickory nuts. And let's get all four of Lester's bags of nuts sold here tonight. Thank you, Lester, and thank you to our, to our donors and uh, people for bidding. That is our first buy it now item. That is awesome. Thank you so much. That, that was, man, that brings a smile to my day. Okay, we hear the bell. Is it loud? Yeah, I kind of feared. Ding, ding. All right. Um, is this another buy it now? We have another buy it now. And so let's, let's go ahead and ring the bell. One of Gail's famous, Gail and Roger's famous canned beef has sold for a $100. And I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. If you, if we could have put that, that buy it now at $700 and it would have been worth it. All right. We're going to ring the bell again. Chris told me he's got the volume a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> appropriate. If, we, if you don't have eardrums anymore, I apologize. Let's ring the bell for the sale of our canned beef. All right, folks. Hey, we're having fun over here tonight. I hope that you're having fun at home too. Let's raise a cup as we have now gotten our donation. Another buy it now on canned beef, and we still have some more canned beef to be sold. Don't miss your chance. To, to, to get one of these cans of uh, jars of canned beef. Also, to whoever made that donation, it's appreciated because you gave me a two-second break. So thank you so much, and thank you, Gail and Roger, uh, for, for the continued support of Marquette and for putting, you know, for letting us use your canned beef here tonight to be able to help raise money for our school. Greatly appreciated. I know that there's people that have been walking by Marquette that have also been grabbing booklets throughout the course of this afternoon. Um, so if you want to grab a booklet, it's not too late yet. And we still have some more available. We printed 125 um, earlier. So we have these booklets 
Magic of Children booklets that are available for pickup. They're right outside of the school. If you want to see all of the wonderful helpers um, that, that have uh, you know helped sponsor tonight's event, please uh, do um, uh, grab one of these booklets. Let's rec take a moment here to recognize our sponsors. If it wasn't for our sponsors, it'd be really difficult to make tonight such a big success. And when, when we have people buying bags of hickory nuts for $300 and people buying jars of canned beef for $100 and people putting $100 towards, you know, a chance to win a smart TV, all of these things make a huge, huge difference for us. Um, again, no big journey was ever made by a giant leap. Every journey starts with a single step. So if you're helping us take baby steps towards our goal, it's appreciated. And if you're helping us making big leaps towards that goal, it's appreciated. These are some people that have helped make big steps. Our star sponsors include Riverview Chiropractic and, and um, Andy Miller. I've been, I've been there. Thank you very much for helping fix my back up after tonight. I'm walking around. I might be over there again. Hockman Funeral Homes. Um, I, I've never um, experienced that service that Hockman Funeral Homes provides. Hopefully, I don't for a while yet. But I've been to Hockman Funeral Home, a wonderful funeral home. Uh, DePaco. Credit Union, as well as Ide Bailey, uh, CPA and Business Advisors, Bellevue Sand and Gravel. That's where um, you know you can get some some of that rock that you might want for a rock uh, rock box. Uh, Bob Ernst Insurance also is a star sponsor. We also have some silver sponsors uh, with the Bellevue Pharmacy. I know that they've been busy lately. You can always see a line outside their door. Yeah, because because it's like carry out. That's Sorry, dad joke there. All right, so yeah, Bellevue Pharmacy helping us out. Uh, Bender's Foods, um, again, if you're looking for a place to eat tonight and you want to grab something, Bender's Foods is a great place to stop out to. Uh, Till's Chevrolet Buick Garage, uh, getting your car serviced and also selling uh, some great uh, vehicles out there. So, uh, you know, make sure, again, you, you help um, provide services to the, the sponsors that help provide services to us. We have our gold sponsors. Bellevue State Bank, Fidelity Bank, Premier Home Furnishings, also uh, Dolan Jewelers, Kiefer Plumbing and Heating, Jim Schrader Construction. All of these people are helping to make tonight's event become a reality. And finally, our platinum sponsor with Tracy Export and North Family and Friends. Hey, we couldn't do this without you, and we appreciate everything that you are doing for us here tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you to our sponsors. And how you can help say thank you to our sponsors is by going to these businesses and helping to sponsor them. They, they could, they, you know, every small business, everybody could use a little extra help right now. We know that. Um, so, so if you see these people out that are helping sponsor us, say thank you to them. I'm saying thank you right now. But, the, you know, for your child's education, if you have kids that go to Marquette, if you're just a fan of our school, or if you're joining just because you want to see what's going on and what Marquette's up to tonight, and you see one of these people out, say thank you, because you couldn't join in with us tonight if it wasn't for our sponsors. All right. Do, do, do. I got to make sure that my... We have... Oh, Nice. Another buy it now. You know what? I'm just going to keep. I'm going to keep this bell more handy because this thing is starting to get used a little bit more. Um, we have our roaster of German potato salad and party potatoes being sold at six hundred dollars. Um, it, which again, huge. I, I Aaron DeSoto's over here, and she's like, "Hey, that, that's that's awesome." When you, when when I I go and get a chance to talk to her personally and say, "Hey." Let's do this again. We got six hundred dollars. Um, so thank you to our, our wonderful donor here. Um, we will we will um, ring the bell here and toast to you, and also toast to Donna Meininger, to Aaron DeSoto for helping to prepare it. So thank you once again. Let's ring that bell. We have a buy it now. That bell just keeps going. I'm going to take a quick moment off camera. Real quick, I got to talk to somebody, and then we'll keep going.
We, we do want to recognize our, our major donors um, and, and the people who are doing the buy it now, but we don't want to put anybody in the not. Okay. Okay. So, so if you are bidding um, on, on the bidding owl right now and you don't want your, we're going to give you a quick chance. If you don't want your name uh, recognized and, and called out loud, that, that's cool. We know that some people like to be able to give to Marquette in different ways. Um, just let us know if you're cool with us, us yelling it out. We're going to keep yelling out names here. Um, so thank you again. Um, but before we, we do that, I got a couple more golf balls that we're selling. So I didn't get a chance to explain this in a little bit of time. Our golf ball auction, a raffle, you keep hearing me talk about these orange golf balls. We wrote numbers on 150 golf balls, and since then we've had to write numbers on more golf balls. Every time somebody buys a ticket for the Samsung um, HD TV, UHD TV, uh, that's a smart TV, big screen, 55-inch TV, you are getting a golf ball. We're going to put all these golf balls into this basket up here. I'll carry the basket up in a second. You can see how full it's already getting. And when we're all done with tonight, I'm going to stand up here on stage, and I'm going to dump out all these golf balls, and I'm going to try making a hole-in-one into this green putting green. Okay? If your golf ball is the first one to land into this green putting green, you win that giant 55-inch TV. If nobody gets a hole in one the first time around, we'll take everybody to land on the putting green and we'll put them back in the bin again. And then we're going to dump out the balls again. And hopefully we have a hole in one. And if not, we'll take whatever is closest to the hole and we will make that person the winner of our television. Trent Clausen just purchased three golf balls. So thank you, Trent. You have numbers 147. So again, we sold, we wrote 150 out. You got one. 47, you got 131, and you got number 16. I'm going to pick up this bin. All right. And we have, this bin is filling up with golf balls. This is going to be fun for us. We, I got a small crew here tonight helping out. Um, but the small crew, they said, we are looking forward to picking up all the golf balls. Um, we're going to have a contest here of who can pick up the most. And the winner of that will be able to get... Um, uh, we'll, have, we'll have to find what we can. We got this Long Island mix up here. We'll have to reach out to the person that wins that and see if we, if we could treat ourselves to one of those. Because man, that would be pretty refreshing right now as we get as we continue on with all the excitement uh, throughout the course of the day. Grab a sit. At 6 o'clock tonight, 6 o'clock tonight, we are going to be recognizing our honorees. Um, and that is coming up just 30 minutes from now. So if you are, if you, you know, you're going to want to make sure that you see and join in when we recognize our honorees, people that have helped out Marquette for years and years and years. If you are purchasing a uh, raffle tickets for our cash raffle, I just bought six of them. If you're buying tickets for our cash raffle, we have people dropping off. Um, actually, do you want to uh, come over here, Chris, real quick with the camera? Everybody that has participated in the cash raffle, chance to win $2,000, and then we have a couple smaller prizes. We are putting, we are writing your names on those, so you know right away that if you are making a bid on Bidding Owl, or you're putting in buying raffle tickets, again, please don't go to the checkout now unless you have to, um, if you want to pay by credit card, but reach out to Carenza, or you know, let somebody here know, hey, I have a way to pay with cash, I have a way to pay with credit card, or cash or check, and we'll be able to try to make that. that that's a better way for us. We don't incur the, the penalty. All right. We have another Buy It Now, the Ultimate Mar Marquette Basket. This was donated by Student Council. Donated by Student Council. It's $500 off of a Marquette tuition. It's also athletic pass for the year for a family, and it's also a free bag of popcorn at every single one of our games. And I wanna, I'm going to just share here too. Um, thank you to North uh, Penny for, for uh, the donation here. She doesn't even have a daughter in school anymore and, and purchased this. So thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell. Please raise your glasses as we ring the bell here again. And, and you're, Penny, you, thank you for the break here. And let's ring the bell. Thank you so much. And let's keep tonight going. The buy it now bell has gone off. This is awesome. 
we, we are having a lot of fun here tonight, and you are making it more fun for us. With every time that we are able to sell something right out, the Buy It Now option is there for a lot of our different packages and really is an opportunity for people to give back in many, many different ways. And if you are thinking, boy, I, everything on the auction is going for a ton, and, and COVID-19 affected a lot of families. So maybe you're thinking right now, the best way that I can help Marquette is by, by giving a, a little bit towards you know, um, the, the matching donation, for example, you can stretch your dollar. You can make your dollar count twice as much. All you need to do is just go on to the, um, go to that, that area where you can do the donating to the, um, helping hands items. And you'll see that one of the items is, is Gail Mickles and Roger Manders matching fund. They're, they're matching up to a thousand dollars. Your dollar can become $2 by donating to that. That match though has almost been met. We are getting very close to that match being being completed. So maybe you're ready to make a donation that's more significant. Maybe you're going to say, I'm going to sponsor the next thousand dollar match. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you would think about it. And if you're able to do it, that would be a great way to continue to sponsor. Just reach out to Carenza. She's checking her email back here. We have all the school's phones. Uh, the phone line is dedicated back here too. So thank you once again for all of the help that you're providing in whatever way and capacity you're able to do so. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we are now almost, I do ring the bell also for those of you just joining us. I do ring the bell at every $10,000 increment that we have raised and we are getting closer and closer to the $20,000 mark. We are at 18,129. 18,129. All right. We have another buy, buy it now. You know what? This bell, I, I, was, I was hoping I'd be able to ring this a couple times tonight. Well, I, ho I hope that this continues, that we just get to ring it every two minutes. So I, I forgot to raise a glass the last time. I'll raise a glass this time too. Another one of Gail and Roger's famous canned beef for $100 has been sold. Uh, the person that bought it, they're using the username mate, and that's how we'll kind of do it. We'll use your username if you're going to do a buy it now. That way we can give you credit for, for that and raise a drink to you and know that the entire Marquette community is raising a toast to you. So mate, whoever, you, <laughs> we, we appreciate your gift. We appreciate the donation. Let's ring that bell. Raise your glasses because we have another jar of canned beef sold. Let it ring. And I, I will raise my glass here to all of those who are doing um, these Buy It Now options. Thank you so much for your continued support of Marquette. We just talked about these golf balls and how these golf balls are going to get um, be able to be used. Sheila Dunn has purchased a golf ball. So number 133, Sheila, if this golf ball lands in the hole at the end of the night, you will be walking away with this 55-inch uh, television. This, um, and I'm looking at this thing. You know, it's got the, the Netflix. It's got the Prime Video. It's got the YouTube right to it. If you connect, if you have internet at home, you're going to be able to use this. You know, when Kelsey and I watch masses but from Father over the weekend, we don't, we don't even plug in a computer to it. We go to YouTube right on our television. And we just click on, you know, for the, the St. Joseph's Church. We're able to watch masses right from home. So you, you'd be able to do that too. All right. We have a golf ball um, that, is, that was uh, also purchased. I'm going to have to say it's, it's too anonymous. So whoever you are out there, thank you for your $10 donation. And if you do win it, we will make sure that you do get the golf ball. Well, I mean, if you win it, we'll make sure you get the TV. If you don't win it and you want the golf ball, we can get that for you too. Number 114 to the person that just gave to Marquette and uh, gave $10 for that cause. Thank you so much. Again, we talked about every little bit helps. And every little bit that you were able to give, again, what you, what you might be able to give might be different than what your, your friend, what your neighbor is able to give. And we're just asking for your support as we continue going forward and planning um, for next year. We're looking for your support as we look into the ideas. We talked about our helping hand items. I haven't mentioned those in a little bit. There are four different things that Marquette is raising money for. Um, we're raising money for some overhead projectors right now in our middle school classrooms. Uh, some of the classrooms have these projectors, but they're on carts. So we got wires down through the floor. Um, we got, we got things like that. So we can put those up in the ceiling 
and make it much more, you know, like, like look nice and be able to be less of a tripping hazard for students, um, make the school more uniform by getting that. And we talked about how students might be learning next year. Imagine if you have a small group of, of students that are, you know, a class of students that are coming together, but you have a small group learning from home, that when you're participating in a class discussion, that what they're able to do is that they're able to put these cameras um, up and projected in front of the classroom. So now when your child's at home learning, the rest of the class is still able to participate with your student. That would be so cool um, for, for those times where your student might not be able to be in person at school. Well, now here, the overhead projectors will allow, you know, kind of that uniform way of making that their, their presence seen and known in that class, even if they can't be there in person. We also have a uh, magic of children for the elementary school for continued upgrades there. Um, the more money that's raised, the more things that we're able to do, of course. You know, ceiling tiles, new windows. There's a lot of different things at the elementary school we, we can do. You know, th that's one area where we have, um, you know, school, the school buildings, as they've been connected, we've continued along the way and putting together, uh, you know, to, to keep the school looking like one building. And right now, our elementary does look a little bit different than the rest of the other buildings. So the more that we are able to raise there, the more renovations we're able to do. Raising money for theology of the body. Theology of the, of the body is a special curriculum to help students know that they are seen, known, and loved. Christ lo sees, knows, and loves all of us. And yet during this time of isolation, it can sometimes be difficult to remember that and to, to be reminded of that. But here's the deal. Being able to, we have a group of teachers and people, myself, my wife, um, and some other volunteers in the area are committed to helping your child know that through a, a special curriculum. Now, the training for that does cost some money to be able to get uh, people trained. But then there's also some personal journals that students are going to be able to get and be able to update with every year. Um, so there's some ongoing expenses with that theology of the body. Some more money that we're able to raise for that. If you believe that that's a worthy cause, and we certainly believe it is, then you're going to be able to see your investment pay off for years to come. As your child, every year, even in kindergarten, there's a curriculum. We go in for about two weeks. We work with the students in that class. And then as they continue on, the, the, you know, new people in the school get to know these uh, students. And they, they start forming a relationship with somebody who's talking about the importance of relationships. The import, John Paul II was the one that wrote Theology of the Body. And the, it's, not, it, it's for, formed about relationships and the importance of self-respect. And so we want to bring that to students and help students think about and, and, and think about what their relationship with their friends are and as they continue through school, as the relationships continue to shift and change. That will allow us to do that. And we thank you so much. Again, if that is a cause that you're giving to. And then the final cause, if you were able to see our return to learn plans, you know that we're planning $20,000 um, of budgeted money right now towards COVID relief, towards this idea of, of how to supply hand sanitizers across the school. Every single area where there's a drinking fountain, we're going to have a hand sanitizing station. The cafeteria, hand sanitizing station. The weight room, hand sanitizing station. So we're getting them, you know, 18 more of those throughout our school. And then we have to continue to replenish those. Technology, I just mentioned, we're going to be getting advanced technology to be able to provide students with the opportunity. Yeah, those ones are all done. Sorry. Yeah, except for that one. There's one that wasn't. This one. Sorry about that. All right. So we, we, um, we, have, we have expenses that Marquette has never incurred before. And there's some grant money that's going to be able to help out with that. We know that. Yeah, that's great. But we still have a long way to go in order to make sure that our students and our staff and everybody else has everything they need. And we don't have to worry about, you know, where, where that money's coming from. Tonight, we're trying to make a big uh, push on that and a big start on that COVID uh, relief as we get ready. And you know, if you have our return to learn plans, a lot of the different plans we're doing. I mean, things that you wouldn't even think about sometimes, like UV light sanitizers inside of our offices. So teach. So when, when somebody comes in there, uses a pen, uses something that we're able to drop that into a box, push a button, and that's sanitized. Hand our air purifiers in our lobbies of our school, as well as in our offices. Um, the, the sinks in our bathrooms that, you know, in our elementary school, the students had to touch the, the sinks to get them started. Well, we're going to be installing a key for plumbing and heating, which is a sponsor for us. They're going to be coming in and installing these hands-free sinks. So you just put your hand underneath them and then, you know, hands-free paper towel dispensers that we're able to get to be, you know, so, so again, we can limit the chances 
of any spread of viruses whenever possible. And so there's a lot of ideas of things that we could do. We're already planning some things. And of course, if we raise more than what we were expecting, believe me, there's plenty that the school can be able to continue to do to make sure that our students are able, as long as we can be in the school next year, um, as long as we are not given directions that school has to go fully digital, we are going to be in the school next year. And providing instructions for students that are able to be here and do it, and be able to provide seamless instruction for the students that aren't able to be here to do it, to be able to continue learning. It's, it's, a, it's a complicated thing that many schools are going through, but our teachers came together and we think we have some really unique ways and really uh, original ways of making some things happen. We are now up to $835 being given on, on Gail and Roger Mickle's matching gift. So again, if anyone wants to start matching another matching gift, um, we, we would do, be willing and, and happy to entertain a phone call, Zoom message, Facebook message, say, look, I'm going to commit $1,000 to Marquette as a matching gift. Anyone can match it, and we'll be calling your name out saying, look, here, somebody has supplied this matching gift for us, and that way people that want to stretch that dollar twice as much are able to do so. So we're almost up to our first $1,000 matching gift being met, and we're going to be able to make a second matching gift. And keep in mind, too, that tonight we don't, we don't have drink tickets being sold. So, so maybe you're, you're at home and you're thinking, boy, I, I, you, if I was at the event, I would have spent $15 on the meal and we had a family of four going. So, so, you know, we're up to 60 bucks there and I would have bought drink tickets or so up to 80 bucks and I would have bought in the, okay. So consider those, those opportunities to give as, as money that you can, can still, you had already committed to being able to make tonight special, you can still make tonight special in a lot of different ways. So thank you again if you are, if you are trying to help out in being able to do so. What's up? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mary. I, I appreciate your message here. Um, my, uh, my, my, my voice, I think, is starting to get a little bit raspy. I do get a break at 6 o'clock, so, so that will help me out. I'll grab a bite to eat at 6 while we honor our honorees, and I'm going to ring the bell here two more times because we have, we have two more buy it nows. So Mary, Mary just told me I should have a, a quick sip. Well, I'm going to be able to have two quick sips because we have two buy it nows. We have our three-gallon tub of Grandpa's Parlor ice cream that was donated by Kim Schrader, who's, if you see a flash of light, she's taking pictures of me as I announce this. Um, Eric and Kim Schrader donated this. Uh, username and bidding owl was Penny. So thank you, Penny, for your donation to us um, on this, on this uh, three gallons of ice cream at Grandpa's Parlor. I know that you'll enjoy it. I know that your nieces and, and uh, everybody will enjoy that at your home, too. So raise your glass here as we ring the bell. Raise your glass for Penny and for Grandpa's Parlor, for Kim and Eric Schrader for the donation. And here we go. We're ringing the bell. Thank you. Thank you. I, you know, as, as today goes on, I, I hope that my excitement for tonight isn't dwindling. I am just been all smiles as I continue to see the support of our community coming together to support our school. And if you're on here tonight and you're thinking, boy, I, I, next year's event, I have something that I could give. You know, next year, I have something that I want to make. Mark that down. Don't, don't forget about that. Don't say, ah, oh, you know, next year, we always are looking to make this event an exciting one. And we have another buy it now. So username was Larry Herrig. I, I'm not going to speculate who that is, but we do have a board member that is Larry Herrig. So thank you, Larry, uh, for your donation here. Um, as you are buying Road Rock and Egg Lime, so it, he's, he's buying that for $300, folks, $300 towards a great cause. And Larry, this one's for you. I, and, and if you're at home right now watching this, you know, raise up that drink. Everyone raise your drink to Larry Herrig and the Herrig family uh, and to the close family for their donation of the rock or egg lime. And let's ring the bell. Awesome. Hey, I can tell you, we had a conversation with our school board last week on Thursday, and we're thinking, boy, with, this, with the recent spike of cases in Bellevue, how are we going to make tonight work? And I can tell you, at the end of that meeting, we're all kind of sitting there like, you know what? I think, I think we can make tonight work. And, and again, 
It would not work without the support of everybody at home that's watching this right now, that's logging on to Bidding Owl, and they are finding ways to make it work for, for you at home. They're saying, look, we can help Marquette out like this. We can help Marquette out like this. I've mentioned before, don't wait for the last second to make a bid. Make bids when you are able to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I have, I, did, I, I told you before, you can reach out and you can communicate with me. Um, Susan Williams has reached out and she says, please, please move the putting green before you trip over it. So thank you, Susan. I will do that. Thanks for taking care of me over here. I, I got a lot going on at Marquette right now and the putting green was not my number one concern, but but I'm glad that you made it a concern for you and, and my safety. So, so thank you. As I, as I was saying too, you know, we, 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 we talked and said, how is tonight going to work? And I think what we got going on here is pretty good. We just found out if you've been waiting to hear from Jess, um, he, he, yep. Jesse Herrig, Colonel Jesse Herrig, he's not able to make it here tonight. So again, you're, you're stuck with me for another couple hours, but I do promise a break at six o'clock as we do recognize our honorees. And then after that, we're only going to be going on for another little bit of time. This auction tonight goes fast. It goes fast if you've ever been here, but the fact that we have an ending time for those of you who have gone the magic of children before, sometimes we're getting out of here 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. We're going to be done at eight o'clock tonight and everybody is going to be able to take a deep breath and say, whoo, we made it and look what we did. Look, look what Marquette was able to do. This little small school in this little small town is able to get together every year, no matter what, to make something happen. And there's something to be said about that, especially right now. You know, I talked about we all owe it to ourselves to give ourselves something to look forward to. So as you are looking on making a bid on something and you're thinking, I don't know if it's going to happen. Look, the gift to yourself is A, making, making that gift to look forward to something, and then B, understanding that all of our donors are willing to work with you. Everybody that gives to this cause is saying, we, we want to make sure that you, that we can make this experience an awesome one for you. And so I, I, they have my trust that it's going to work. Please bid with confidence that whatever package you get is going to be one that's going to um, work out in the end. Oh, nice. Yeah. We have a couple people wanting to buy the bell. Let me just tell you a little, <laughs> little bit about this bell here. This bell actually is engraved on side with 1885 Bellevue, Iowa. Um, and it's got a couple names here. Felderman. I believe I can't really make this one. Again, it's a bell from 1885. So it starts with an R. R-O-M-A-K-E-L. Remakel? Remical. Thank you. Thank you. Remical and Felderman, 1885. Um, it says, cast 1885 and Bellevue, Iowa. Oh, Remical and Felderman and then Bellevue, Iowa underneath. Yeah, I, I would say this bell is pretty priceless. And, and part of me even feels a little bit guilty for, for hitting it with a hammer. But it, it, is, a, it is a rubber hammer. We're going to make sure that it's a cast iron bell. I can't imagine I'm going to do it any damage. I tell you what, if it, if every single item tonight goes on the uh, uh, for for the um, buy it now price, well, I was going to say I'd give the bell away to somebody, but but we better just keep ringing it. We better save it for next year if it's that lucky. So thank you. Um, and again, it, it's it's fun to interact with you um, here as we are as we continue on through the night. If you're watching on Bellevue Cable, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're joining the party on Zoom. Andy, is it is it a pretty good party getting started on there? He's nodding his head. He said he said that the people on Zoom are having a lot of fun. How many people are on Zoom right now? How many? Okay, 16, but we have capacity for 100. Sounds like 16 people on Zoom are having a good time. So if you want to go to Zoom and you don't have the link, um, send an email out to us. We'll make sure, give the school a call. We'll get you connected with the link. What Zoom does is, is a place where you can uh, chat with each other. It's a place where you can have private chat. We have different people from Marquette that are uh, watching that um, to be able to, to continue the conversation there. So if you want to uh, talk to me, um, they're writing me note cards whenever somebody writes something down that, that's directed towards me, um, either on Facebook or on Zoom, feel free to do so. Let's talk a little bit about our items once again. Um, we did talk about these uh, every item already. I'll just tell you what's up on stage here. 
Um, so that way you know as you're contemplating a bid on different items. And, and just at 6 o'clock, I've made this oh, my, my official decision on this. At 6 o'clock, I'm going to be taking these purses and hiding away for a little bit. I'm going to go behind the stage. I'm going to take the $600 diamond necklace. Okay, I'm going to hold it up to the Zoom camera. I'm going to hold it up to the other camera. $600 diamond necklace, and I'm going to be hiding it inside one of the purses. At the very end of the night, to help end the suspense, and so everybody knows, I will be... Okay. Awesome. So Karenza is letting me know that the, the, the winning one's already been picked then, right? I don't even need to pick it. All right. And I don't know which one it is. So what we'll do at the end of the night is that I will reveal the winning purse to you. So um, if you, these are all high-end purses. Pick your favorite color. You got a 25% chance of walking away with a $600 necklace. And if you didn't win, if, if you didn't get that $600 necklace, you'll still get a $100 gift card towards to Dolan Jewelers. So, you know, you, you're going to want to make a bid on that. And then we have one other purse. I just want to make sure that people understand that this purse, I, I don't think it qualifies as a designer high-end purse, but to me, it doesn't make much difference. I, <laughs> I just will say it's the Knights of Columbus purse and there's cash inside. How much cash? I won't tell you that secret. That is for me to know and for you to find out if you are the highest bidder. Um, Knights of Columbus doubled how much they put in there since last year, knowing that it's not going to get passed around. But if you, this is a great item that if you'd like to make a, a significant donation, every year this purse gets passed around multiple times. And, you know, we only have about four or five volunteers here tonight. And passing it around to these four or five, five people, it wouldn't, it, I can tell you, it wouldn't get that much inside of it. So, so we're just asking for, for, you know, again, for a high bidder, you will get some cash back to you. We, we, uh, we appreciate trying to keep the spirit of that uh, Knights of Columbus purse alive. And thank you to the Knights of Columbus of Bellevue, um, which, which I'm a member of, uh, for continuing their support of our Catholic school here. Also, thank you so much. Oh, all right. All right. Awesome. Well, hey, I just said one of our, we, we didn't know how much was going to be able to be uh, given here to be able to fill that purse, but I'm just going to hold up. There's some money in my hand. Somebody just came by who's volunteering here and said, I got some money I can throw into that purse too. So I'm going to throw some extra money in there. Now the purse has more money than ever before. How much? Well, it's got more money than ever before. So please consider a donation on that purse. And by the way, we are over $19,000. We are almost to $20,000. And let's try, let's try to get there before 6 o'clock. I think we can make it. We have seven minutes until our honorees are honored. And we have $1,000 to go to get there. And by the way, we're hoping, we're hoping for a phone call or a text message, or a, or a text, or a, um, I mean a Zoom message. We're hoping for something that says from somebody saying, look, we, we are, are we at the $1,000 match on um, Gail Mickle and Roger? Are we at the $1,000 match on Gail Mickles and Roger Manders? Because I know we were getting close about 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago. And we're looking for, we are looking for the next $1,000 matching gift. That would get us to over $20,000, folks. So if, if that's something you've been thinking about doing, if that's something you said, look, I, I, I want to just wait until we got this first $1,000 met before we make the second $1,000 matching gift, we wanted to wait for that. But but we're almost there. And, in, and again, if we're trying to get this last $1,000 in this next about six minutes, that would be a great way to get over that, that edge. So again, please consider a gift and... And I know, too, we have a couple donations that have come in, by the way, that are not on um, Bidding Owl. So some people came by, and some people are calling in and pledging money. But we have people that are, are back there that are taking those pledges. We have people that are back there. If you don't know how to do a bid on Bidding Owl and you want to help out, maybe you're on Bellevue Cable right now and you don't have access to a computer. Thanks for watching on Bellevue Cable, by the way. But then you want to make a donation, just, just give us a phone call. 
563-872-3356. And we will take that phone call and we can put in a bid on anything that you see behind me or anything I've talked about. We will do that for you and you don't have to worry about it. But we have money coming in that's outside of Bidding Owl. That's why at 8 o'clock, we'll take a quick breather. I, I could use that. We'll take a quick breather. And then what we'll do, we'll tally up our totals. We'll do our cash raffle. We'll dump our golf balls out. And by the way, we are getting closer and closer to having 150 golf balls sold. Um, Tommy Colt, if you're still watching, I still don't have Bob Schultz in this. So he'll, he, he can do that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to dump out those golf balls. And then hopefully after that, we can give you a very good estimate of where we're at. It might not be the final number, but it should be very, very close to what that is. And you might be thinking, oh man, I, I want to still give. I want to still be able to donate. Please, you know, even after this, it's not like it's not like our need for extra runs out at any time. We we our school could always use support. Tonight's just our biggest fundraiser. So we are know we're getting ready here to um I, I definitely know that we are getting closer and closer to our honorees. Before we do that, I want to give a couple quick announcements. Um, Russ and Diane um, have donated $100 to each one of the helping hands. There are four helping hands. So thank you, Russ and Diane. Uh, that, that's awesome. Thank you uh, very much. Each one of these causes is certainly worthy of that. Thank you uh, for doing that. All right. We have now met... The $1,000 match. Or actually, so Gail Mickles and Roger Manders sponsored a $1,000 match at the beginning of the night. For people that are wanting to stretch out their money as far as they can, a donation there was counted as double because Roger's, uh, Roger Manders and Gail Mickles doubled that and went up to $1,000. We've now met that, which is awesome. I think, I think that's a reason to celebrate. And as we get ready to celebrate that, if you are at home and you're thinking, I want to make a $1,000 or $500 matching gift, whatever it might be. Now's a great time to do so um, because we want to uh, continue with that. That one I got. All right. And so um, I'm going to read a couple golf balls and we'll ring the bell for a matching gift and hopefully be able to ring the bell because we hit $20,000 here. Where are we at, Chris? Okay, we're at 19148 19148 We have three minutes, hopefully, to get that extra $850. Hopefully. We'll see if we get there. If not, we'll see where we are, where we are at after our honorees. But before we break for our honorees, I want to um, recognize a couple people that have uh, purchased Five more golf balls that are going to be put into that raffle for that Samsung TV. Ron and Jeanette. Depp Wolf, Wolf, sorry, um, have purchased five different golf balls. So thank you, Ron and Jeanette, for your purchase here. Um, I want to put these golf balls in. If you are at home and you're watching right now, maybe you want to write down the numbers. So you know what numbers to yell out as you, the golf balls are being spread out on the floor for this 55-inch TV. We have number 76. We have number 30. We have number 55. We have number 84. And we have number 125. For those of you who are joining live at home, we appreciate everything that you are doing for us as we appreciate everything that helps our, keep our school running. Again, my name is Jeff Kaiser. I'm the principal of Marquette. We're going to take a quick break here in just a second to get our videos ready to honor our honorees of our evening at 6 o'clock here tonight. Please stay tuned as we will be joining live with you again following the um, conclusion of our introduction of our honorees. And for our honorees, please reach out. And if you're on Facebook or if you're on Zoom, give them some love. Tell them thank you so much for everything they've done to help out our school throughout all of these years and throughout even this most unusual time. I'm going to take a quick break and get something to eat. Thank you once again, and I will be back with you shortly. Please welcome our 2020 honorees of the Magic of Children. Thank you.
served as president of the parish council for a number of years. Joanne taught CCD on Wednesday nights. She also served as a liturgical coordinator in recent years. Together, they volunteered every year to serve the annual pancake and sausage breakfast. The appearance of the church was very important to them. For nearly 15 years, water Wolfram could be found clean in its interior. Throughout the years, Milton and Joanne's faith has always been the cornerstone of their marriage and family. There have been countless happy times, and in recent years, many health changes. Their faith in God continues to give them strength. As their family, we are so amazed at how they've always lived their faith-filled lives with God at the center. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everyone who worked in the leadership role and those behind the scenes to make this event happen. It is through your efforts that we are able to be here this evening, and I appreciate all you have done. On behalf of my younger sister, Joan Wakeman, and my older brother, Jeff, and I, I will please allow me to introduce our mother, Sandra Mueller. Here's our mother, along with Parker and her motorcycle in the background. 
My mother has worked behind the scenes in various capacities throughout her entire life. Her skills in food preparation date back a little while. She started out as part of the cook staff at St. Joe's Hot Lunch about 1970. She continued to work in a variety of jobs until she began to cater weddings, starting out with the Mike and Priscilla Dolan wedding. She returned to the St. Joe's cook staff about 2005 when Kelby and Parker entered St. Joe's. Here's a little something most of you may not know. Once she figured out how to do it, Sandra bought the entire school system a round of ice cream on Kelby's and then Parker's birthdays. It was her way of showing all the kids her love of being a good mother. It was another way of showing how much she loved being part of the St. Joe's cook staff and being near the children who filled her life with excitement and joy. Working at St. Joe's was a great fit for our mom. She enjoyed working with children and not just her own. I believe my mother and I can both say without reservation that working at Marquette Catholic has been a real blessing. Thank you for recognizing my mother's contribution to Marquette and may God bless you all. Thank you. We're going to try running the, uh, the the first honoree here. Is, um, I know that the audio wasn't working for everybody on all of the different platforms. Thank you for the patience that you're having with us. We're going to try that one one more time here, see if we can get the audio to work. Thank you. Joe and Carol Keyes are both 1974 graduates of Marquette. They were married in 1977 and belonged to St. Peter and Paul Parish in Springbrook for several years, where they both served terms on the parish council. They have been parishioners at St. Catherine since 1981, where they have served on the parish council, finance committee, holy name, and rosary societies. They were a sponsor couple for engaged couples and worked at pre-Cana conferences for several years. Over the years, Joe has been a lector and usher, and Carol has been a Eucharistic minister. Joe is currently on the parish council, and Carol and Joe have been serving on the parish life committee for a number of years. They are the parents of three children, Nick, Sarah, and Mike, all who graduated from Wallert Catholic High School. Their son-in-law is Jim, and daughter-in-law is Sweta. They are grandparents to Alyssa, Paisley, James, Caleb, and Ari. Joe is employed at Raider Brothers in Bellevue and is a Prairie Springs Township trustee and is on the board of directors for the Lamont Phone Company and the Key West Fire and Rescue. Carol has been employed at Mount Carmel Bluffs for the past 30 years, is a BBM associate and a Hospice of Jackson County volunteer. This is Kenneth Mickles, a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, and a great-great-grandfather. He was born September 6, 1929, to Peter and Clara Mickles. He married Orva May Zymet in 1951, and they had 11 children, all baptized in the Catholic Church in Bellevue or in Springbrook. And he had multiple children that went to Bellevue Marquette. Dad started in Jackson County Country Schools, 
and he went to Bellevue Remember Church, where he ushered for over 40 plus years. He was on the parish council and worked all the fundraisers, where he cooked chicken. He cooked chicken and spermbrook for many years, and is known as the pancake flipper at all the breakfasts still to this day. He dressed as Saint Nick for 10 years for the kids. Kenny was a member of the Knights of Columbus, third and fourth degree, joined in 1948. He was Grand Knight for two years and was the youth director for 18 years. He attended and worked CEWs and also helped at many techs. If someone asked him to help, he would be there. You can see him attending many sporting events, including W. Marquette softball, baseball, and basketball games. On his free time, he was a secretary of bowling leagues for over 30 years, two different shifts. Still bowls one night in the summer, two nights in the winter. He was a member of the Spurmer Fire Department, worked all the fundraisers, and is a member of the Bellevue Golf Course, where he still golfs twice a week. We all appreciate everything you have done for the school and community. Thank you, Ken. Lynn was raised on a farm off the old Davenport Road in Dubuque County. She is the second oldest of six children born to Carlin and Marie Ganton Dunlinger. She attended St. Joseph's Catholic School in Key West and the Visitation Academy. Lynn was born to Nicholas and Margaret Capacious Weber, the youngest of seven children. He was born on the farm that he's held home all of his life, with the exception of his service in the U.S. Army. He attended St. Joseph's Catholic School and boarded there during the week and went home on the weekends. Milk and Luann met at Melody Mill. Soon after Luann's 19th birthday, they were wed at St. Joseph's Church in Key West on Tuesday morning, April 27, 1957. While Milk proudly served his country overseas in Italy, Luann lived with his parents on the farm. They welcomed their daughter, Jean, in 1960, and in 1963, their son, Dale, was born. Sue Ellen was born in 1967 and Mark in 1971. Milton Luann's family was complete in 1975 with the birth of their third son, Lynn. Milton and Luann are so proud of all 10 of their grandchildren and their step-grandson. They love their three granddaughters and seven grandsons with all their heart and would do anything for <clears throat> any one of them with just a moment's notice. Along with the religion, family has always been the most important thing in the world to them. Milton and Luann own a farm that has been the family for more than 100 years. Farming has always been a team effort. Milking cows, taking care of pigs, raising chickens, and growing crops we required everybody in the family to do their part. During spring planting season, Bill would plant crops and only stop to eat dinner. Luann would pack him a lunch and deliver it to him in the fields. In the summer, Mill would bale the hay and Luann would haul the hay to the farm for the kids to unload. In 2008, the entire family, including the great kids, traveled to Des Moines to be honored at a Century Farm designation. As Mill and Luann eased into retirement from farming, they both began working at Mercy Hospital in Dubuque. As their family, it warms our hearts to hear of Milk's silly antics while at work in the land's encounters as a charge person. They made lifelong friends with their co-workers at Mercy. Share of their time and talent at St. Tanae Parish has always been important to Milk and the land. Milk served as president of the parish council for a number of years. Milan taught CCD on Wednesday nights. She also served as a liturgical coordinator in recent years. Together, they volunteered every week to serve the annual pancake and sausage breakfast. The appearance of the church was very important for them. For nearly 15 years, water of both them could be found playing the tattoo. Throughout the years, Milton Milan's faith has always been the cornerstone of their marriage and family. There have been countless happy times, and in recent years, many health changes. Their faith in God continues to give them strength. As their family, we are so amazed at how they've always lived their faith-filled lives with God at the center. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everyone who worked in the leadership role and those behind the scenes to make this event happen. It is through your efforts that we are able to be here this evening and I appreciate all you have done. On behalf of my younger sister, Joan Wakeman, and my older brother, Jeff, 
and I, I would please allow me to introduce our mother, Sandra Mueller. Here's our mother, along with Parker and her motorcycle in the background. My mother has worked behind the scenes in various capacities throughout her entire life. Her skills in food preparation date back a little while. She started out as part of the cook staff at St. Joe's Hot Lunch about 1970. She continued to work in a variety of jobs until she began to cater weddings, starting out with the Mike and Priscilla Dolan wedding. She returned to the St. Joe's cook staff about 2005 when Kelby and Parker entered St. Joe's. Here's a little something most of you may not know. Once she figured out how to do it, Sandra bought the entire school system a round of ice cream on Kelby's and then Parker's birthdays. It was her way of showing all the kids her love of being a good mother. It was another way of showing how much she loved being part of the St. Joe's cook staff and being near the children who filled her life with excitement and joy. Working at St. Joe's was a great fit for our mom. She enjoyed working with children and not just her own. I believe my mother and I can both say without reservation that working at Marquette Catholic has been a real blessing. Thank you for recognizing my mother's contribution to Marquette and may God bless you all. Thank you. All right, folks, we're back here live, and we're going to be back here live until 8 o'clock tonight. I am replenished, refueled with a hamburger, and, and I had, a, had a, one of those, um, it's like a, a gummy snack, except for it's like flat. Those are pretty good, though. I mean, I'm going to introduce some, some new ideas uh, for food today. And by the way, we are two single dollars away from being able to ring the bell again on our bidding owls running total. We are at $19,998. So somebody just, just take your bid up one time. That $5 increment will be there. Before we do that, I want to recognize a few different things that we have going on for us today. And again, keep in mind, our running total is just a running total on Bidding Owl. If you are calling in, that's not getting calculated into this total at the moment. That's why at the end of the night, we're going to take a quick time out at 8 o'clock, recalculate while we are doing our, our drawings, so that way we can bring to you our live updates. But I wanted to mention, we were asking for some additional matching gifts, and we have a few that came in. So now we have some more funds. If you are looking to stretch out your dollar in this last hour and a half, you have the opportunity to do so. Every $1 that you give is going to count as two, as we have multiple matching gifts here up to now, instead of $1,000, up to $3,000. So we want to make sure to get those matching gifts met. It's like, you know, when Marquette offers a 5% match on, re on a retirement fund, tell everybody, well, put down at least the 5% towards your retirement. It's like free money. Well, here's an opportunity for you to take advantage of giving and giving twice, even though you only are giving once. So thank you to Loris Kilberg. Loris is going to be matching up to 500 extra dollars. Gail and Roger, um, Gail Mickles and Roger, um, Manders, I said, did I say it right? I've been saying these names so often. Roger's last name? Yeah, okay. Sorry, Roger, apologize. I've been saying your name so many times that so it just didn't seem right. $500 um, also added on to their already $1,000 matching gift. And then we had an anonymous gift of $1,000 extra dollars for a matching fund. So we, we can get up to $3,000 now. All you have to do is go back into that um, bidding owl, go to that matching gift section, and know that that number is not $1,000. It's not even $2,000. That matching gift is $3,000. We're going to talk a little bit about, about some more matching gifts and opportunities here in just a second. But before we do that, somebody took their bid up $25. So whoever did that, we are toasting to you right now as we have now surpassed the $20,000 mark on our silent auction and on our bidding owl. So we are going to ring this bell again. If you are at home, if you're on Zoom, we want to see those glasses being raised. If you're watching on the Bellevue channel, you know what? You got to raise your glasses too. We are toasting to $20,000 being pledged here tonight through Bidding Owl for our total. And this is a very exciting thing. So here we go one more time. Let's ring the bell. All right. And now that we only have 90 minutes yet until our auction closes, we're hoping to get that up to $30,000 to be able to keep this going. And guess what? We have a couple things that I think are going to help out with that. 
Right now, we're helping hands. We have Theology of the Body. We're at $550 committed for Theology of the Body. We're at $650 being committed towards those overhead projectors. We're at $375 being committed towards that elementary school. For COVID relief and extra funding, just, again, through our bidding owl, we are at 2975 But, folks, I got a phone call over the course of this, this small break. Somebody called me and say, they said, well, let's see. What, what, I want to help out. Where can I help out? I want to help out with that COVID relief thing that you've been talking about. I said, yeah, absolutely. That's an area that we could use help. Mike Hansen, that works over at uh, Bob Ernst Insurance, is going to be donating $5,000 towards that cause. So thank you so much. I mean, I, that, that helps us out so tremendously as we can move forward and purchase everything that we need. And again, we are already planning on doing some of that, but then we're going to figure it out later. Now we can figure it out now. So thank you so much, Mike Hansen, for the $5,000 donation towards COVID relief. We're going to make sure to mark that down. And thank you uh, a thousand times over for, for that, 5,000 times over for that uh, very generous donation. Thank you so, so much. We also had a phone call over the break. Um, you know, one, uh, actually, I'm going to do one announcement first. Nope, we already did that one. All right, so we have one more announcement. We are going to take one more moment of silence. Um, the reason why I'm going to ask that everyone take a moment of silence is because today we laid to rest a great friend of Marquette as well. There is, we just honored these honorees, but there is somebody who is a great friend of Marquette that was buried today. Um, Dan Petish had passed away late last week and uh, meant a ton to the Marquette community. Uh, he was somebody that was seen in our hallways regularly, rode buses just for the fun of it, always was talking to students, was important in our lunch staff, came in, uh, you know, talked talk to everybody that worked here, talked to everybody that went to school here, and was a legend uh, to Marquette in many ways. And so if you don't mind me in joining um, in a moment of silence here as we remember the time, the life and the times of Dan Petish, uh, who passed away la late last week as a friend to Marquette. I'll step aside here and please again um, respect this, uh, this minute of silence. As we recognize our honorees here, we also had um, Jamie Carding called. He is uh, from the class of 1982. If anyone from the class of 1982 is watching, we have a special announcement for you. Class of 1982. That announcement is Jamie Carding is challenging his classmates for a spirit award in the memory of Dan Petish. Starting at $100, we're asking anyone who would like to give to this cause, please call or email Carenza. Um, again, if you need Karenza's email address, it's available on the Bidding Owl website. You, it's also added under the Helping Hands so for, for the Dan Petish match or the, for the uh, Spirit Award. So if you want to go there, you are able to give. Again, we're looking especially from the class of 1982. Of course, if you'd like to give um, for the Spirit Award a memory of Dan Petish, we'd greatly appreciate that. Dan, just so everybody knows too, on um, this past year, Marquette added uh, two, two very brand new buses into our bus fleet, and Dan was instrumental in making that happen, gave a significant portion uh, to be able to, to help us out with that. And so Dan was always willing to give to the school. I can't think of about a better person that you could be able to give 
to a spirit award in memory of Dan. So thank you, uh, Jamie, for that idea. And let's keep this going here for the rest of tonight. We only got 90 minutes left. We got a lot to talk about in this 90 minutes because I know a lot of people just joined us. And so we're going to talk about, we're going to run through all of these items. We're going to run through our magic of our, our helping hands items. We're going to run through our sponsors. We're going to run through how our raffles are working. And that will going to bring us pretty close to the end of the night. And we're going to tell you everything that's going on up here on stage. So up here on stage, let's start there. We have this bell. This bell is not for sale. I, I apologize to, to the people that have reached out asking us to buy this bell. If that was you that wanted to buy it, it is from 1885. And it is our Buy It Now bell. And it's also our bell that we are ringing every time we reach a $10,000 increment on our Magic of Children. When we hit that mark, what we do is we ring this bell celebrating a Buy It Now we ring this bell to celebrate any time we get to another milestone in our fundraising efforts here tonight. And we are so happy that you are joining that you are joining with us here tonight. We almost had a casualty there. All right, so thank you again. If you're joining from home, if you're watching on Bellevue TV, it doesn't matter. We're glad that you're able to participate. The question was never, are we going to have magic of children? The question was always, how are we going to make it successful? And nothing is successful without the use, the help of our sponsors, without the help of you watching at home. Even if you're watching in any way, if you're sharing this link out with people and saying, look, Here's a small Catholic school in a small community where not a lot of Catholic schools exist anymore. And we want to help make sure that this school and the students that go here can continue experiencing Catholic education. Well, here's your chance to reach out to people that maybe don't even know about us. Maybe you got a, a, an aunt or a, um, you, know, you have a nephew and they, 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 they would uh, maybe give to a cause like this. So you see something on our auction. You got a Cubs fan that could benefit from a table donated by Abby and Justin Beach. And you say, look, hey, would you, you know, we we're putting in a bid for you. All of that, every small amount makes a big difference. No amount is too small. No gift is too big. No gift is too small. And we're happy that you're joining with us today. We hope to provide a little bit more entertainment. At least it's better than watching reruns all the time. And I'm going to talk a little bit about something else that's up on stage right now. And these are these golf balls that you continue to see being brought up to me, these little orange golf balls. At the beginning of the night, we wrote down 150 numbers on these golf balls. We are giving out a 55-inch smart flat-screen TV at the end of the night. This TV that is up here is made by Samsung. It's a good TV. They made my refrigerator, and that's still running, so you know it's got to be good. And what, they, what you do is that you put in a number uh, or you, you purchase a $10 chance, we'll get you a golf ball. This golf ball was bought by Beth Gerlach. Thank you um, for, for your purchase, Beth. And what we're going to do is it enters, into, it enters her in for a chance to win this 55-inch TV. I simply walk over here, and I drop it in to this bin. It was not 102, Beth, if you're watching. It's 102. And so Beth writes down that number. She remembers I'm golf ball number 102. So in a little bit, at 8 o'clock, when we drop off all of these golf balls off the mech stage, we have almost 150 golf balls in here already, and it's going to keep adding up. We've actually had to write on some additional golf balls. I haven't seen any numbers come in that are 150 or over, but once we get there, um, that would be great. And so I see a couple more coming in right now. So people are buying their chance to win. Beth, you got, you got some children at home, and you're going to want to get one for Dan, too. Or Dan, sorry, I'm speaking of the wrong family here. You're going to want to get one for everybody there. And so we're going to be able to You purchase one of these chances at the end of the night. I stand up on stage. I dump out the golf balls, and we have this putting green up here. The first golf ball that lands in the hole in one is going to get that TV. If we don't have anybody win it the first time around, we'll pick all of the ones up off the putting green. If, the, if yours didn't land on the putting green, you're out. But if yours landed on the putting green, then we're going to put it back in the bin and we'll try it again. The one closest to the hole at that point would win in the, in the second round. Um, keep in mind, too, a golf ball makes a wonderful Christmas gift or birthday present. You want to get your kids something? Man, a stocking stuffer of a golf ball with a number on it is about what every kid dreams of. And then when they open up that stocking on Christmas morning, they say, wow, what a cool orange golf ball with a number on it. You say, you know, it could have been a TV. And they would say, I'd rather have this golf ball. So keep that in mind, too. We will get the golf ball to you for anyone that would request it. And Patty Hager, I think... I think Patty bought one of these at the beginning of the night, if I remember right. Yeah, Carenza's nodding her head. Patty Hager said, you know, buying a golf ball the first time around at, at 2 o'clock was exciting. Buying one at 6 o'clock 
much more exciting. And so if she has a golf ball at the bottom of that pile. She's going to have a golf ball towards the top. Patty, you have number 134. And so we're going to put that over here in this bin for you. So now Patty just doubled, doubled her chances of winning. And if you'd like to purchase a golf ball, we're going to be doing this for a couple minutes here because they keep coming in. Thank you so much. We have Raquel Clausen who is buying three golf balls. Um, Raquel also, now we're going to find out how lucky she is because she won the grid item back when we were doing our silent auction. When we sold out our grid, we then um, uh, you raffled that off. We had a special night. Junior Steinus, I hope, Junior, I hope you're watching out there on Bellevue Cable or on the internet right now um, and making sure that we're maintaining our integrity on the, this auction and this raffle. You helped us out that night. And I know that you're always a big help for Marquette. And anyways, uh, Raquel won that. So we'll see if she can win twice during the Magic of Children. We have number 85, number 93, and number 37 being entered in for a chance to win that 55-inch TV. It's only a $10 chance. Every $10 is another chance to be able to win. So thank you so much for that. Larry Herrig um, is purchasing two of these golf balls. We have number 105 and number 54. Number 105 and 54. You know, the, Larry would, would agree with me. A TV this size, you'd be able to see Aaron Rodgers sweat dripping off his face during a Packer game. So, Larry, if you get it, I know that that's what you're going to be watching for. Um, I, I think that you're getting, you know, I see that there's two here, 54 and 105. I, I, I'm just going to say, I think, I think that the chance of seeing the Packers, you know, beat the Bears again or beat the Vikings, yeah, I think that's worth the price of uh, a couple more golf balls. And if you're if you're not a Packer fan, don't let Larry win that and then see his Packers beat the Bears. All right, so. Hey, we got another person entering into the raffle that I haven't seen this name yet tonight. Amanda Hausenbank, thank you so much. Um, just, you know, she helps train dogs and, and uh, therapy dogs. Just an awesome person to be around. She's got two little girls. Um, number 115, she is entering into the raffle too. Amanda, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, number 115, so when we drop these, these golf balls down, I expect even from Marquette, we're gonna, when these golf balls fall, I think around town, there's going to be this collective scream of numbers. And if anyone's walking outside, they're going to be like, what is going on? And everyone who's watching tonight will know exactly what's going on. All right, Sue Kiefer. I'm gonna, I imagine one of these is for Hawk and one of these is for Sue. Sue, don't leave Katie out of this. You're going to want to make sure, you know, and Tim, you're going to want to get golf balls for them too. Uh, Sue Kiefer, you have number 89 and number 123. Um, so I'm going to throw these in there for you, Sue. I'm going to blow on them a little bit here to give them a little extra good luck. All right, we're going to put those in. Sue, thank you so much, and uh, thank you for your continued support of Marquette. Um, I, I greatly appreciate everything that you do. Let's talk a little bit here about everything else that we have going on. Of course, we have a huge auction that, that's going on right now on biddingowl.com. If everything else fails, if all the technology breaks down, all you have to know is biddingowl.com. You go to backslash Marquette, and it'll take you to our auction. And all of these items that are behind me, including a ton of different packages, along with everything else that you could bid on, is all on biddingowl.com. And you can, you can up, look, look, I will tell you this, bid early, because even if you don't win it, you will help make somebody else pay more. And that, that feels good, making somebody else pay more for something, because you know it's going to a good cause. So don't wait for the last second, just bid. Bid now, bid early and bid often and, and try, to, try to start a bidding war. And if you don't even want it, win it and then sell it to them for whatever you were gonna, they were gonna buy it for in the first place. All right, let's talk about some of the things that we have here. Um, I was looking during the break. I can tell you right now, somebody is getting a great deal on these golf clubs, okay? If you go online and you look up Callaway Solaire golf clubs, they are worth much more than what they are going for at the moment. So go online, go to bidding. I will search them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not making this up. Let's research this brand of, of golf clubs, Callaway. I know that that's good. Okay. And then, and then this type, this model, and you'll see that somebody's getting a good deal. Don't let them walk away from here with, with a great deal. I have a feeling that their maximum bid is probably higher than what you're seeing it there. So bid now and make them pay a little bit more for it. Somebody out there knows that they're getting a steal. All right, we have a few other things I want to mention here. Um, my grandma, 
she used to make homemade noodles, and we have homemade noodles for you. If you've never had a chance to experience homemade noodles, you can have that chance. And I have a feeling, I don't know this for sure, but I have a feeling that the high bidder probably has already had these homemade noodles because that's why they know that they're worth every penny. And if you have never tried homemade noodles before, you can experience why somebody is bidding so high on these homemade noodles. Karen Jess made those homemade noodles. We have... The Plussels have donated this Long Island iced tea package. Um, you got triple sec. You got vodka. You got gin. You got uh, rum. You got lemon juice. All you got to do is supply the Coke or Pepsi. Dump that all into a, into a, a cup, one of these big cups together. And, and if you've never made a Long Island iced tea, the best news about Long Island iced tea, you make a bad one the first time, the second time around, you don't even know that it was a bad one the first time around. All right, let's talk about this package over here. This all goes together. We have this cooler. We have the bush light. We have Manny's um, hooded sweatshirts, Manny's pizza, and check out that Manny's logo. That looks, that, you know what? This, I think that Manny's logo looks really nice. All right, so you have this, uh, these Manny's hooded sweatshirts. There's even the Manny's guy who's in the back. So we're gonna look at the size here for you. This one is a medium. This one seems a little bigger. Yep, it was. This one is a large. So you get all these, all this stuff. This also comes with a three-topping large pizza every month for an entire year. Um, Manny's Pizza, along with Stephanie and Kelly McCombie, donated that. So you're wanna, not going to want to miss. The Stills donated this thing. Uh, Doug and, and Gemma Still, along with Cannon, who helped paint it, put together this fire pit. We talked about this a little bit earlier ago. Okay, imagine it's the fall. Okay, imagine it's, it's this cool fall day, and you have this custom-made Marquette cooler, refrigerator, filled with beer sitting in your garage. You need, you're going to want that. Okay, you got to low. And by the way, I saw who's winning that right now, and that's, that's Kelsey's mom that is winning that mini cooler at the moment filled with beer. And I, I can tell you, I, I appreciate the effort here, Melissa, on, on getting that. There's, there's, uh, thank you very much, because um, I know I visit, visit over there once in a while. But we have to get away to get this cooler full of beer over to the fire pit that they're going to want to buy. So then we're going to load it up in this Yeti cooler. We're going to walk it over to their backyard, throw it inside of this uh, fire pit. And uh, Steve Luffelholz is going to provide all of the wood that you need for the fire pit. So that way you, you got wood for, for you know, to burn up all fall long, and then you're going to be able to stay warm. But now you're thinking, well, where am I going to sit? Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good problem. That's a problem. So we have some options there too. You got the six foot Marquette bench. You have a picnic table that seats eight. You have this, heck, I would put this flex steel chair, carry it out by the fire pit and you, you, it's electronic. You got yourself made. So we, we have options for you to put your own packages together. We also have this bench right here. I was saying, you know, how nice would this be when you're at home and, you know, a kid's room, this would be a nice place. If, you're, if you have kids um, or if you want to put this in your mud room uh, where you can store your cleaning supplies inside, whatever it might be. Oh, are we in need of more golf balls? We, we are starting to run low on golf balls. So if you are listening to this and you have a stack of golf balls, at home, we had 350 golf balls to start. Donated by the golf course, the Bellevue Golf Course. So thank you, Bellevue Golf Course. I would have never imagined in a million years that we were going to need more golf balls when tonight started. This is a great problem to have, but it is a problem. And the question is not, will we make it work? It was, how will we make it work? Well, our way of making it work is reaching out to you. If you have golf balls, reach out to us first, so that way we don't have a 1,000 golf balls coming. But if you have some golf balls at home, maybe you got a stack of old driving balls that you could uh, give to us. Please consider doing so. We need more golf balls so that way we can finish out a raffle. This bench opens up. And by the way, Heather Weber is going to be painting that any color you want it. She said she wants a challenge. So she said, tell her to do plaid and she'll find a way to do plaid. Tell her to make stars on it. Tell her to draw a picture of a rhinoceros. She doesn't care. She'll make it work. I'm just <laughs> I'm putting uh, Heather up for a challenge she didn't even know about. So, so don't mark my words on all of that. But, but you can get it painted. I do know that much. And so if you want to try giving her a challenge, go ahead. We have Gail's canned beef, Gail and Roger uh, canned beef. We've already had two of these sold for $100, okay? So are they worth every penny? 
absolutely. If you get them from anything less than the buy it now price, you got yourself a steal. We have the Knights of Columbus purse that has money in it. And I can tell you right now, whoever's getting this is getting a good bargain on it because there's cash in here. There's quite a bit of cash in here. And so you're not going to want you, how much? I can't tell you, but you also get the purse with it too. I was looking at that purse. I mean, how much would you spend on that beautiful? There aren't too many ladies walking around with the Knights of Columbus broad, with that really big logo on it. And, and everyone will know where you got this from. I mean, they will know that you're a Marquette supporter. We have these beanbags set right over here. Beanbags that you can bring to every tailgate, show your support of the Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm going to do the golf balls in just a second. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, who's getting to this golf ball thing. We didn't know how that was going to work. And truth be told, I still don't know how it's going to work when we dump them out. But you are giving us quite a mess to clean up, and it's appreciated because every one of those golf balls is representing $10 uh, that is going towards this TV. So thank you. That, that's, that's going to be a lot of fun. We already have decided. Um, it was done before I ever got here, I found out. Um, one of these purses has a box in it for this $600 diamond necklace that will be placed inside of one of those purses. Those are high-end purses, and you are, you're going to want to um, you know, not wait on purchasing one of those or bidding on one of those. Remember, the purse itself is worth about $200. Then you have a 25% chance of getting a $600 necklace. And even if you don't get that, you're still getting a $100 gift card to Dolan Jewelers. Let's do some golf balls real quick because I am see oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm I am I'm so so happy on this one. So Jim Klein, I got to give it to you here. I, I don't even know how many golf balls this is, but you are our first person that is getting a golf ball over 150 because we drew up 150 when tonight started, thinking that's where we we're going to end. And now we are over 150. Jim Klein, thank you so much. I'm going to wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 golf balls. Um, thank you, Jim Klein. Uh, th this, is, this is awesome. As you're writing this down at home, and if you're keeping track, now Jim Klein has more than double the chance of anybody else out there in this TV auction. So I'm just going to point that out. If you want to increase your chances to get up with Mr. Klein here, you're going to want to do that. Jim and Jennifer Klein, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if this is going in Trevor's room or where this might go, but greatly appreciate it. Let's take a look. We got number 126. We got number 70. We got number 151. We have number 159, our first white golf ball. These were the kind of the, 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 the ones that we're going to use only if we needed to. Well, good to know we needed to. All right, our first white golf ball is going out. 127. You, you, Jim, you have a lot of numbers to be yelling out, so you're going to have to divide this up between the three of you. 136. 129. 103. You're keeping me busy here. 104. 106. 109. 107, 142, 112, 111, 113, 101, 138, 119, and 100. 120 golf balls going to Jim and Jennifer Klein. Thank you so much. I think I counted that right. I think I think I did. Nobody's okay. Everyone's not in their heads. I want to make sure because that. Was, I'm trying to count them as they're rolling around. We got five more white golf balls over here. Doo, doo, doo. Dick Zymet. Hey, I, th I think he already had purchased some, so he's increasing his chances to win also. So thank you so much. We have 273. I could be wrong. I I'm trying to remember. I've seen so many names here. And as you know, we're a small community where we support each other, and there's a lot of families. I know I've seen Zymet come through a few times. So let's take a look here. We got Dick Zymet with number 273, number 183, number 196, number 216. And number 158. Awesome. Better bring my things back because they're trying to make more golf balls. All right. Get my workout tonight. If, you, if you've been out driving in the morning, you've seen Kelsey going for a run, you let her know I did my workout today already. Ah, uh, this makes me very happy. Hey, when I first moved to Bellevue, Dula Tebby was one of the very first people to introduce me. She was out riding her bike around the school and she said, oh, you must be the new principal of Marquette. 
said, you know what? I am, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, Liana Dulatebi have purchased 10 golf balls. Hey, I, I, I hope... I hope one of these is very lucky for you, um, for the Tebbies. We have number 240, number 173, number 166, number 154, number 164, number 210, number 184, number 204, number 167, and number 163, Dula and Leon Tebby. Again, if you aren't writing these numbers down, you'll still win if your number gets drawn. We're keeping track over here of who has what number. But if you wanted to yell out when we get us, um, that would be great. I did want to mention that Rick and Jamie Sieverding are the ones that have donated this TV. And they are one of our sponsors at Premier Home Furnishings. So thank you so much um, for providing the TV here that is just, that is just taking off uh, with, our, with our fun way of doing this raffle. Randy Coos, hey, we just saw you. He stopped in here after mass. Take a look and make sure that everyone was doing all right and was well fed. So thank you very much, um, Randy, for stopping in. And you also got five golf balls. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm not sure, Randy, how you want these divided up between Ashley and Danny, Kaylee, you and and I. Uh, um, losing my my train of thought here. Sorry, Julie. So we're gonna we're gonna get these all divided up. Two eleven, two twelve. 174, 182, and 209. We are going to give to the Coos family. It looks like everybody in that household is getting one golf ball. Randy, you're going to want to purchase maybe one more for to give yourself a double the chance here. So let's see what else we have. Hey, Edgar Ortiz, um, for those of you that don't know Edgar, he lives over in St. Donatus, a big Marquette supporter already. Number 179, thank you so much for your donations. Glad, glad that you're watching with us here today and this evening. Thank you so much. Awesome, my friend. Katie Peterson is also um, now in, ha has entered into our TV raffle. Katie Peterson, you have number 161 and 198. Katie helped out a lot with the Magic of Children. She's part of the Magic Ch of Children Committee um, and, and helps out around the school a lot. Big advocate for children's education. Works Works awesome, always fighting to make sure our students are at grade level reading. Um, so thank you, Katie Peterson, for your, uh, your entering into this raffle. And again, I think, I think we're still looking for a couple extra golf balls. If you have some at home, um, just reach out to us. We'll make sure to, to get... Oh, Lisa, okay, we have Lisa Schmidt bringing some golf balls over, so we should be fine. Um, again, we have about an hour left here before we uh, dump these golf balls out, but that, <laughs> we, we are going to make a mess here. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of noise and a lot of fun. All right, we have good news. We have good news. We just got a phone call in. There's another German potato salad roaster donated by Aaron DeSola and Donna Meetinger after their first one was purchased on a buy it now. They got together and they said we can cook another one. So thank you so much, Donna and Aaron, for cooking another one of these up. A German potato salad uh, roaster. If you'd like to purchase some German potato salad, I believe they also offered party potatoes. I'm sure they do that for you again. It's up on Bidding Owl now. So if you were interested in it the first time around and you missed out, now's a good time to bid on that again. Okay. We also have a couple extra matching donations that have come in. So we're at $3,000 for matching donations, and these people are going to continue to match up, match if we are able to get it. So 250, we just talked about Katie Peterson being an advocate for Catholic schools and being an advocate for reading across all schools. Katie Peterson's giving $250 matching as well as Mary Thomas. Thank you um, both so much for that wonderful gift. Um, again, a gift that's going to be able to be used uh, across however, you know, where, where the school looks, uh, it has needs. And this is an important thing to remember, too, is that Marquette has many different needs in many different areas. We have, you know, the teachers, we have the staff, and we have expenses that we've never taken on before. With all of your help, we are able to continue our mission of serving our students in the small Catholic school, in the small town, and with a big heart. And I talk about it, too. You know, every school can have the goal to educate students beyond high school. Every school can do that. To have the goal to educate students for for after death. I mean, that, that's a unique thing that Catholic schools can offer. So thank you so much again for, for all of your support and letting us continue our mission. We have some more golf balls. 
Hey, he was in here helping us out today. He actually got me the rubber hammer to be able to hit the bell with. So John Tyson has entered into the raffle. He wants this, this, this is not only this 200 golf ball is not only a, a message to me that John Tyson wants to win a TV. It's also that John Tyson doesn't mind me dumping 200 golf balls out off the floor on from, from the stage. So, so forgive me, <laughs> but, but that, that's, what's going to happen here in a little bit. John, thank you so much. And let's see what we got going on next. We have, oh, this is a, this is a big pile of golf balls. Oh, my goodness. Another Marquette legend. All right, Jim Squires is watching, folks. Jim Squires is out there watching our uh, feed here tonight on either Bellevue Cable, YouTube, Facebook, or Zoom. And Jim Squires is bu has bought 10 golf balls for a chance to win a TV. But for Jim Squires, I know that it's as much about uh, supporting Marquette as he is. We're going to bounce these golf balls on a court that's named after him. Jim Squires, number 153. Number 176, number 250, number 157, number 229, number 172, number 231, number 264, number 236, and number 185. Jim, I hope you were able to write all of those down, Mr. Squires, so that way you can yell out a bunch of numbers as soon as uh, we dump them out on the floor. And hey, Good luck to everybody who's participating. I am listening in the back here, and, and Krenz is answering the phone. Pat's answering the phone, and they're saying, hi, and somebody's saying, hey, I'm watching on Bellevue Cable, and I want to purchase five golf balls. How can I do that? We'll make it work for you. We'll get your name. We'll get you written down. We will make it happen. Again, it's not a question of will we. It's a question of how will we, and we are committed to making your experience at home and making your night tonight a little bit more enjoyable. By the way, our baseball team is uh, actually on the road tonight. They're playing a regional um, game. That has a live stream as well. Um, but we're happy that you're joining with this live stream. And again, if you wanted to watch the baseball game, stay tuned onto Bidding Owl. You can still keep bidding. If you're on your cell phone over at the, at the, at the baseball game, hey, that's a good way to participate. Support your school in two ways. Cheer them on at the game. Cheer us on here as we continue to raise money for Marquette so we can continue in our mission. We're over $21,000 now that has been pledged on Bidding Owl. Again, I know that we have a lot of pledges that are off Bidding Owl. This is just our silent auction, and this is just a, uh, the tickets that have been purchased through Bidding Owl. This is our high, if we take all of our highest bids, as well as our magic of children, or our, sorry, as well as our helping hands, when you add that all together, that's where our total is sitting right now. Over $21,000 committed already here tonight. That doesn't include, of course, the silent auction done before. That doesn't include all of the people that are calling in and saying, I want to help. I want to give. How can I give? Here's, here's my information. And we, are, we have our phone lines open. Email's open. Zoom is open. Facebook's open. We're monitoring it all, folks, so that way we can make sure that you can support us as you would like to do so. And I think we're now coming on to our final hour. Yes, it is 6 56. If you are on bidding, you will see items now are getting closer to that one hour mark. And I've mentioned it before. Do not, please, please, please do not wait until the last second. Yeah. Waiting until the last second, you might get that last bid in and you might win something and yay, la di da, right? I mean, it's exciting to win. Yeah, it's great. But what's more exciting is supporting your Catholic school here in Bellevue and how you can do that is put your bid early. Look, even if you don't win it, somebody else is going to outbid you in the end and you're going to be able to smile on your face because you're going to say, I helped raise that bid. I helped make, make that a, a, you know, a higher, a, somebody else want it more. And that, that's, a, that's a good thing too. Tonight we're coming together to help support our small school in Bellevue. That's what tonight's all about. And we appreciate everybody who's joining with us tonight. We appreciate everybody who is saying, this is what I'm here for too. And I know you are here for the right reasons. And we are here to support you as we go through tonight. We appreciate your support. All right, we have an announcement real quick. We already have over $500 raised in the spirit for Dan uh, Petish, who again was uh, buried today. Um, great long-term, a long-time supporter of Marquette. Man was, was a legend here. If you ever were around Marquette's campus, you, you 
you've met him. I guarantee it. Um, you know, he was, he was a man with a big heart. And again, tonight's about having a big heart. So thank you to everybody who's giving a memory of Dan as well. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm going to have an announcement about how to play. Oh, um, and Clint Mickles. Hey, Clint used to go to, we, we had the chance to compete on a track team together over for a little while at Laura. So Clint, thank you so much. I see that you have one for, I'm, I'm going to guess one for Amanda. Okay. That, that's 162. One for you. That must be 160. One for Mallory. That must be 169. And I think you still have another daughter there. So don't, don't forget. Um, again, we'll, we'll take, what, these are $10 donations. Every golf ball represents $10 and every, um, Every one of those golf balls is a chance to win that TV. Thank you so much, Clint, for, the, for uh, supporting this uh, auction here today. I want to mention, if you do – wow. All right. Wow. I saw that one. That's awesome. If you do want to pay by check um, or cash or pay by check for the cash raffle or the TV, please leave those items in your cart. You don't have to go through the checkout. Okay? So – Especially if you're from Marquette, like if you if you have connections to anybody here, don't go to the checkout. Put all that stuff in your cart. We know that you're putting it in your shopping cart once you do that. We can see that. We're going to assume that then you're going to buy it. Okay, so put it in your shopping cart and then reach out to Carenza. Send her an email or give the school a call and we will make sure that we, we can see it when you're updating the list. Every time that you check out on Bidding Owl using a credit card, Marquette incurs a 2% fee which we're happy to pay. Like, like, look, I mean, 2% fee when we can raise money. I mean, we can take it. But we can also raise a little bit more. Your donation counts a little bit further if you pay by check or by cash. So we don't need you to check out through Bidding Owl. Again, this is one of the beauties of being at a small school. Everybody knows everybody. And so we can, we, if you're buying something, we know that you're good for it. Just reach out to us and let us know that, that that's what you want to do. And we have Raquel Clawson now has also made a phone call to us. She is also doing a $250, $250 match. I believe then on the matching funds, that, that means that we are up to $37.50. $30, if I'm doing the math right in my head and remembering everybody that has come in. We went from the $1,000 match at the beginning of the night from Gail Nichols and Roger Manders. And, and what it, what it, you know, this is kind of a cool thing. One gift, how it can continue to help out and how it can continue to help out. We went from $1,000 there and then the $1,000 was matched. And now we have up to $3,750 that's going to continue to be used for great causes. Thank you uh, to all of those that are calling and saying, look, I'm going to put some money towards it. And if it's, a, if it's you know, anything um, that we can help put as a matching gift, we, we love the opportunity to do so. And that way the people too. Look, look you got, I, I'm going to talk real quick to the recent alumni. You know, I'm your gener you know, the generation of people that just graduated. I know that a lot of you are in college. I know that the funding and like where, where finance is at is a different situation compared to the people that have been established in their jobs for a little bit. But I also know that your heart is big. And I know that you are probably watching this thinking, how can I make sure to support Marquette? And this is the school that helped me get to where I'm at right now. And I'd like to give. Well, one of the ways that you can make sure that your dollar is stretched farther is going onto the bidding owl, going into that matching gift section and clicking on look, if you got if you can give $10, well that's that's $20. And and for anybody, you know more than anybody else how far $20 can stretch. So just keep it in mind. I would encourage you if you're a recent alumni, if you graduated back in like let's say 2017, and you're sitting at home right now and you're thinking, man, this is kind of neat. I want to get in on that. Mr. Kaiser, I knew him when he was at Marquette. I'd like to help out, you know, make 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 a donation. Well, that's a good way to do it. Um, Jerry Marshall and Ruth Marshall here, they have three golf balls that have just come in. Jerry helps drive the bus for us. Um, and Ruth has, has served in our office for, for a few years too. So we, we want to um, give them a chance to win a TV. They have numbers. I'm going to give them a chance. Ruth, I hope you have a pen and paper with you. You got number 190. You got number 170. And you got number 186. And just scream those numbers out when we dump out those balls because they're going to roll all over the floor over here. And then maybe one of those uh, that you just got will be the one that lands in the hole in one. We, we have five more golf balls being, being sold. John O'Brien. Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks, John, for that. John, um, last summer, gave me a bunch of sweet corn, too. So 
you know, I, I, I appreciated that when that happened. And John, just, you know, um, I took what I could use and then I gave the rest to all the teachers here. So I know that there's a lot of teachers that enjoyed the sweet corn that you had last year. Just saying, you know, I know harvest is coming up soon. John O'Brien, number 152, number 155, number 235, number 156, and number 230. All right, this, this little bin of golf balls is starting to get pretty full. I'm going to keep it in there for a second, but I think the camera can probably see. Can you see that the golf balls are starting to overflow our, our container? I mean, this is, this is no small container of golf balls. It's starting to get heavy, and I'm starting to get worried of the uh, integrity of this uh, container. But we have, we have this many... I mean, I, I can't count them off off the top of my head, but over 200 golf balls, I would beg to guess, are in here right now. From all the people that are helping and, and uh, purchasing for that chance to win the TV. And again, it's not just about winning a TV, of course. It's about helping to support a small school here um, and supporting the children that are here. It's called the magic of children for a reason uh, because you know everybody who gets an education does so to help support children. Everybody that sends their kids to Marquette understands the value that Marquette is. Everybody who helps support a small school like this, look, you know, part of the reason why Bellevue is such a great community and such a unique place is that we have multiple schools in the small community. And I, I, I don't think that that is a drum roll. I think that was thunder. Um, wow. I thought I was promised that tonight would have good weather. So I guess, you know, now, now there might be more reason to be sitting at home and watching us for this last hour. So if you're just joining us right now, I am putting golf balls into a bin for a chance to win this TV at the end of the night, we dump them out. We're trying to make a hole in one in a putting green. Corey Ketman, um, who stopped by earlier tonight. If you were joining us around six o'clock, you saw him because he dropped off this mini fridge. Number 181 and number 165. Thank you, Corey. Um, you know, one one for you, one for Stacy, and you got some kids yet at home that that might want a golf ball for Christmas. I mean, no better gift. I've mentioned this before. Get a golf ball in a stocking for Christmas with a little note that said, you could have gotten a TV, man, every kid will love that. All right. I, I'm losing, losing my ability to talk about all the other items that we have. I know you can read about them on, on Bidding Owl, so I know that you don't need me to tell you all about it. Plus, I made that video yesterday to tell you about it all anyways. We've had so many people helping out to make the magic of children a big success. Tons of people, it does, it, you know, me being up here and talking right now, I don't want anybody to get the impression that I did a whole lot. I, I'm just up here talking. The people behind the scenes are doing far more than I am. The people who are giving right now, the people who, who helped sponsor this event, the people who, um, you, you know, believed in, in this becoming a possibility, even with everything happening around us, the people who are making sure that Marquette is able to continue to, their education of their kids, all of those things, I mean, look... It takes many, many, many hands to make something very awesome happen. So, Chris, I think, did you just update this? He's going to real quick. I thought I saw. We're at $23,470, and that's just what's committed on Bidding Owl. If you're making donations in any other way, we're going to try tallying that at the end of tonight. We'll at least be able to give you an estimate. But while I was over by the TV, I wanted to mention over here, St. Donatus Parish, who helped sponsor Marquette and helps um, us out with subsidy. Here we have a cricket machine. And if you don't know what that is, if you're into crafts, you probably already know what a cricket machine is. If you don't, if you aren't into crafts and ever wanted to get into it, you need one of those. You also have um, some materials that are going to help you as you get into crafting. So this comes with, uh, like it says, cricket basic tool set and some markers. But you don't just get this cricket and this this uh, these tools. You also get two hundred and fifty dollar voucher towards Marquette. And guess what? I made sure of it yesterday. That voucher doesn't have to be used next year. It could be used years after. So if you, you know, I, I, was, I was looking at some of the families that are giving right now. If you have a kid that's in three-year-old preschool and, or, in, or in their daycare and they, you know that they're going to come to Marquette you can, and you really want that cricket and you want that $250 tuition, but you're like, oh, they're not going to be in kindergarten next year. Hey, don't worry about it. All right. Don't worry about it. We got you covered. We'll make sure that you get the $250 in tuition when you need it. Oh, awesome. All right.
<laughs> yeah. All right. So, so somebody just was out there making a suggestion, a new fundraiser for next year. And let's mark this down right now. Next year, I'll wear a pedometer through the event. And we just calculate how, you know, people could take guesses at the beginning of the night of how many steps I'll take. And at the end, the guess that's closest will win a prize. Karen Jess, I, I believe, already had purchased a chance to win a, a television. Karen Jess is doing it again. And Karen Jess also made some noodles. Karen Jess has entered in again at 192. Karen, good luck to you. And, and you know what? I think that's the right idea. That's a good strategy, spacing out the golf balls. Because if you got one at the bottom of the pile, one at the top of the pile, you're, you're thinking, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to mix that many. Chris, Chris just asked me, can we mix them? I, I, I don't know how we would. I mean, that, that thing's getting full. Chuck and Sharon Keeter also purchased a golf ball. My dad used to say it only takes one to win, so I can understand the, the purpose of buying one. And my mom, earlier tonight, right about 2 o'clock, she bought the first, one of the very first golf balls in here. Um, and they, they only bought one. That's always been what my dad said. If you're only going to have one winner. You only takes one to win. So, uh, very good Chuck and Sharon Keeter for purchasing your chance. But again, only takes one to win. You're going to, you might want one more in there so that we, each one of you has a chance to win. All right, let's take a look here. We have a few more coming in. Pat Catman. Hey, we're glad that you're joining with us today. I got a cheer from the back of the crowd over here. <laughs> we got people celebrating when I said that one. All right, Pat Catman, congratulations. You have multiple, you have five different golf balls that you have, 272, 309, 309. Wow, we are getting down on the golf balls. 244, 284, and 180. Again, at the start of tonight, we wrote out enough spots for 150 golf balls. We are now getting to the point where we're almost up to 300 golf balls. And if you're in Bellevue right now and you're listening to the Thunder, that's got that's got to be a good sign of something. I mean, we were supposed to have that. Oh, I I, I gotta I gotta laugh here. We we, <laughs> we had an entry. I was I was saying, Clint, we got one for everybody, but we missed Leah. We have an entry 217 for Leah Mickles. Hey, that is awesome. Thanks, Clint, and uh, we greatly appreciate that. that you may, that makes me smile. That's fun. Hey, and that's what that's what we're hoping to do tonight. We're having some fun up here. I hope that my excitement and my fun is shining through because I know that at home, if you're watching on Zoom and you've been raising drinks with us and you've been having good time here tonight, we know we'd rather meet in person. Everybody knows that. And that's what we'd rather do. But you know what? We make do with what we've got. And this is what we got right now. And this is the next best thing. I'm happy to be here with you tonight. I haven't felt like this excited since probably our last board meeting when I got to talk about the plans about returning back from school. So, <laughs> so we have a lot of good things going here. Thank you so much um, for, for everything you're doing to help support us. Hey, I have, I have my partner in crime over at the Bellevue Community Jam. If you've ever been out to a Bellevue Community Jam at the Knights of Columbus, you know who this person is. She gets up there and she sings songs with me every single week. By the way, on our Magic of Children, we do have a package to be a rock star. If you've ever wanted to be a rock star, the, the uh, Tanner, Lee, and the Beach Bumps have a package up there. You can join in and sing with them. Emily Close sings with me over at the Knights of Columbus, and she has a chance to win a television tonight. Number 191. Emily, you're going to want to write that number down because 191... I know that you'll be yelling that out when we dump those golf balls out, and I hope that yours ends up in the hole. Here we go. We got a couple more golf balls. And, uh, see, I said I didn't know who was all getting these golf balls. Anna Schmidt. Hey, Anna graduated a few years ago, helps out over in our, in our daycare. And, again, I'm going to just make a comment to those recent graduates. Anna's one of those. And she said, look, she could do that matching gift. She could do that. And, I, again, I can't see who's doing all of those things. But she said, $10, I can support the school, and I got a chance to walk away with a 55-inch with a TV. I can do that. So number 189, thank you so much. And, and thank you for, for giving back and being an example for our young alumni here that, yeah, even, even a little bit can make a big difference. So appreciated. And, uh, um, and you know what I just noticed? We haven't rung this bell in a while, and we're running out of time. And we don't want to leave this bell lonely over here. So this bell, is, we have 45 minutes left approximately. This bell right now is the buy it now bell. And anybody who buy, does a buy it now, we're going to ring that bell. And guess what? The whole town of Bellevue does for you. We raise our drink. 
we, we sing one of those German toasts, I'm proven, ziki saki, ziki saki. We don't really do all that, but we do raise a beverage to you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to toast to you, toast to the item, ring the bell, and say thank you. So if you're wondering, and we'll read off your username. I'm bidding owl. We had to kind of figure out some details at the beginning of the night. We'll read off the name of our bidding owl um, bidder, and, and the, the whole Marquette community gives you a toast. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Sherry Sieverding. Sherry Sieverding, always a big supporter of Marquette and always purchases a bunch of our different items. I can't go online at the moment to see what you're purchasing, but if I had to take a guess, I'm guessing you have the Knights of Columbus bag. I guess that you have all four purses, probably this flag. I mean, just, just keep bidding. And, and, and again, what's the worst thing that happens? Somebody outbids you? Okay, well, we all know each other. So, so put down a bid and then make somebody else pay a little bit more. And if you end up winning something that you didn't want because it was too expensive... Then, then reach out to the person who bid before you and say, look, I actually won this, you know, and can you buy it for me for whatever you bid? And we all still win. Everybody's a winner. Sherry Sieverding, you have number 215, you have number 175, and you have number 201, but I know that you have more girls than just, you know, I, I, you got one for you, you got one for weed, and then one of your, one of your girls, you, you, you got to, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, you know which one it is, but uh, you're going to have to get something for everybody. I'm just saying. All right. I'm going to grab a quick drink real quick. Oh, wait. No, I'm not because we have more golf balls. Hey, I just talked to this guy this morning. If you, if you had a chance on the Marquette Alumni Facebook page and saw the school bus that said, we love uh, you, we love you, Dan, the man, um, there, there are some people that helped out with that. And um, two of those people, and again, um, not the only ones, but two of those people were Isaac Storm and Haley Storm. So they have a golf ball each. Isaac, number 280 and number 223. And uh, great, great Marquette, young Marquette family here. Um, and uh, doing what they can to help support uh, Marquette too. And a chance, to, a chance to win a TV, which I, I, you know, I mean, what house doesn't need another TV? Oh, Yes. No, no, the top middle purse is not white. So somebody reached out. They said, this, this top middle purse looks beautiful. Oh, my goodness, they said. It looks so nice. We just want to make sure it's the right color. It's kind of like a light salmon. Um, it's, do, yeah, light pink. Dooney and Bork. Bork. <laughs> I, Bork I, I don't know too much about fashion. I, I can tell you, though, Kelsey, my, my wife would have liked this. And if I, I'm going to step aside here in a little bit to, to bid on some stuff. I know Kelsey wouldn't mind a new purse. And if you're bidding on one of these purses right now, it's a, it, it, they're still all going for a good deal because they're high-end purses, number one. So you're getting a nice, very nice designer purse. You're also getting a chance to win a $600 diamond necklace. And there's like a 25% a chance to win. And even if you don't win, you get $100 off Dolan Jewelers. So think about that as you're bidding on those items. No reason to, to, to bid a little bit when you can bid a lot, right? <laughs> Sarah Zyman must be watching and thinking that this is a pretty good strategy that we just talked about, spacing out the golf balls. She has one at the bottom for Anthony, one in the middle for Briella because it was her birthday. Now Sarah's putting hers on top. Uh, 243, Sarah. Hey, th thanks for watching. Sarah has been watching with us pretty much this whole night. And for anybody who's doing that, I got to tell you, I mean, you talk about what I'm doing in at least I get to move around and, and, and do a lot of stuff. If you're watching from home and you've been joining us throughout the duration of this night, thank you. I mean, I, I can't thank you guys enough. This, is, this has been an exciting night for me so far. I know that we're starting to come to the last little bit of it, but if we had to do this again tomorrow, I would be here again tomorrow doing it because, hey, it's for a good cause. We have a few more golf balls. People are making sure that I'm not going to get a chance to, <laughs> to grab a drink of water here. They're saying, well, hey, if we space out these golf ball purchases, we're going to make sure that, that he never gets to sit. I don't mind that. All right, Mark Beecham. Hey, well, again, he actually this year was recognized as a friend of Marquette. He's going to be watching this, and he's going to be thinking, boy, next year we're going to do different transition and fades. When Jeff walks over there, we're going to, we're going to have a different camera. And we're going to show different stuff. And, Mark, we, we look forward to that next year. Hopefully, though, we don't have to do it this way next year. Hopefully next year we're able to do it in person again. But again, we're learning as we go. If people come back and they say, hey, this was a lot of fun to be able to, you know, I didn't get the chance to participate in Magic of Children. 
because I'm over in Iowa City or I'm over in California or wherever you might be from, and you want to participate again, you know, some of these things, some of these things we can do again in a digital format. That's the best part. Again, I talked about this earlier. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Well, we're finding out different ways to do things. Mark Beecham, though, he has number 269, number 238. Holly, I'm going to give you number 208. You get that one. All right, and Mark, you also have 206, and you have 203, but I know you have some more people at your house. You have four. Holly has one. You better even that out, and let's go ahead and keep going here tonight. I just got a text. Somebody texted me and said, how are, how are you doing this? And it's like, well, just the same way that we're making magic of children happen, I guess, one small step at a time. If that's the donation of $10, if that's the donation of $1,000, whatever you're able to give, that's how we're doing this. All right. And we're going to finish out strong because we only have about 45 minutes left. Let's talk about any of our items. Um, I'm going to ask their people in back, and I, I'm putting a lot of pressure on these people because the people in the back here, Every time I have a question, they're trying to monitor the TVs. They're trying to monitor Facebook. They're trying to monitor YouTube and the cable channel. They're trying to monitor Zoom and participate there. But And then I'm asking them, hey, will you tell me this, tell me that. So they have their hands full. But um, if there are any items that we want to make sure that are, you know, like are, are going for something like a real good deal right now, let's make sure that we uh, we talk about those. So that way people know what they're missing if they don't bid, right? I mean, the stuff that's going for high... Well, that, that's awesome. I mean, but, but you know what you're getting. I mean, you know, this Yeti cooler, for example, this was something at the beginning of the night I was looking at. Because, again, I go, I've, been, I've been going fishing sometimes. And it'd be nice to have a nice place to put the, you know, the fish. But that, one, that one's going for a good price. The, this chair over here, I think that that one was going for a lower price back uh, about an hour and a half ago. But I haven't looked at anything now since 6 o'clock. We have this, these golf, um, these golf clubs, 11 piece. And don't forget, as you're going through, we also have all of these different options um, for different experiences. And that's, that's what tonight's about, too. Uh, obviously, we want to give you something to look forward to. I know that there's a lot of apprehension over, like, what next year is going to look like. And there's a lot of things. And again, as I think about what next year is going to look like, I get filled with a little bit of excitement because I think that their teachers have done phenomenal things and have had some, some really, really cool ideas for how instruction can be brought to your homes next year for your children, even if they can't be at school. Because the reality is, is it's not just going to be a difference of, are we all in school together or is it all a digital format? That's not the way next year is going to work, probably. Next year, we're going to have some students that are able to be in school, and then there's going to be other families where, you, where they had a student that was in contact with somebody, and they have to say, look, I'm not sick, but i got to be away for two weeks. Well, I, I think a school has an obligation, then, to find ways to educate those students. And different schools are finding many different ways of doing that. And one of the ways that we're looking at doing that is being able to bring your student's classroom right to your home. And so one of those things that we're doing and one of our helping hands is that COVID relief, we're buying technology for each classroom. So that way classrooms could be live streamed. Six through 12th grade, they're going to be able to sit with their classrooms, with their classmates throughout the course of the day. The younger students, they're going to have their teachers have webcams so they can reach out and say, hey, you haven't been in school for a few days. But guess what? Here's what we've been learning about. I want to help you out on that. Here's some activities you can do. And so students getting those personal messages, not just from their teachers, but even sometimes from their classmates. Because, again, one of the things that we want to make sure students know is that they are seen, known, and loved. If we can do that at a school, then everything else kind of you know, takes that second, second place to that. And I mean that sincerely. Education can't happen until students know that they're cared for. And so we want to make sure that we can continue providing a good education for our children here. All right, we have Tony and Diane Minster have purchased two golf balls, um, two chances to win our, our TV here. Um, so thank you, number 295 and also 205. So thank you so much. Um, again, every, every I, can't, I can't see what everybody's giving everywhere else. But every time you buy a golf ball, I know, who, I know who's doing that. So this is a lot of fun. Thank you, Tony and Diane. And also thank you, Lisa Schmidt. Hey, she saw what, what uh, Jim and Jennifer Klein just purchased for their golf balls. And she said, you know, we bought some earlier. And Anna's even bought her own. And we want to catch up and make sure Jim doesn't have the best chance out of anybody. So Lisa Schmidt, number 233 and number 227. Another $20 going towards Marquette. Another $20 
a, a donation that goes towards a chance to win that Samsung TV and, and another two golf balls that we're going to have to pick up at the end of the night. So, you know, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's one other part of that. I don't know. I, again, I know that we sold two of these jars of Gail's famous canned beef. And I'm surprised at this point that we haven't hit another buy now because I haven't rung that bell in a while. And I'm just making a call out there. If you have your finger, if you have your finger on the buy it now button, because you've been thinking, man, I, I don't know if I want to do that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. We do have one item, one item without any bids on it yet. Please consider this bid um, because it's not just a bid from Marquette. It's a bid that supports a, a, a family that has always been super helpful with Marquette. It's a bid that also, um, you know, it, it's something that we couldn't do here tonight. If you go online and go on that bidding owl and go to the Kalmus' beef or chicken dinner for 14 to 16 people, it's our last item right now that does not have a bid. Okay, so if you're thinking, man, I want to make sure everything gets sold tonight. We will get everything sold if that last item has its first bid. Then everything, we don't have to do anything else after tonight. And the magic of children, we can take a deep breath afterwards and be done with it. And I can tell you right now, you know how good that Kelmas' dinner would have been here tonight. And you didn't get to do that. And we're all a little disappointed because of that. But you can treat 14 to 16 people to a Kelmas dinner. Well, shoot, they're gonna, you're going to be somebody's best friend forever. All right, Sher Sherry Sieverding decided she wanted to make sure everybody in her house had the opportunity and all of her kids were able to, to be recognized with the magic of children uh, in, the, in this uh, Samsung giveaway for the TV. So we have a few more going there. Number 168, thank you, Sherry. Number 304 and number 251. And I think we are almost to the point where I'm going to have to move our golf balls into a crate because we never, I could have never guessed that we were going to sell this many golf balls here tonight. But this, this has been one of the more fun things that I think that we've experienced here tonight as we go through. And I've been, I've been, some of the people uh, that are helping out tonight have, that are monitoring the Zoom, they're getting a kick out of all the people that are giving. And, and it shows you just how big our school community is. Obviously, it's much bigger than the people who are just able to give here tonight. There's lots of reasons why somebody not, might not be able to log on. There's lots of reasons somebody might not be able to get a golf ball here tonight. But for us, even to hear these familiar names and people and say, you know what? Hey, we, we miss each other. We certainly do. We, we have uh, missed seeing our students. We've missed seeing our families. But knowing that we're all supporting each other as we go through this, again, a $10 golf ball at a time, it's a pretty cool thing. So thank you, everyone, for, for making this a reality and making this happen here tonight. And, and for all of you that are donating um, and giving on our auction, for all, every single one of these items, every single one of these also speaks to somebody else who gave. Yes. So every, you know, we, we, we appreciate all of the, everything that people have done to make this work. And if I could be calling out every time that something was bid on, I would do that. And again, we're watching for that last item to get a bid on it. 14 to 16 people for a Kelmas dinner. Oh, we, we had somebody bid on it. Awesome. And uh, Mr. Bishop, could you give me just the username of whoever did that? I'd like to thank them. Okay. And then, okay, um, then what we're going to do is we'll ring the bell because we, I haven't gotten to do it, number one, in a while. And number two, every single item is getting sold here tonight. Jay Tyson, they, I believe this is 10 golf balls in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 10 golf balls, 10 chances to win a TV, 100% support for Marquette. Thank you, Jay Tyson. Um, su super, super awesome family, too. Uh, we're looking forward to Bella coming back. We have number 305, 252. 290, 268, 267. Bella, I'm going to give you your own golf ball. If this one wins, you got to tell your dad that you get it. 279, 207, 303, 239, and 214. Perhaps one of those will be the golf ball that ends up in that hole in one. That would be awesome. Somebody, somebody's suggested 
that we try putting the golf balls in the cooler. You know what? Somebody's going to win that cooler tonight. I got to be honest with you. These golf balls aren't the cleanest of the golf balls I've ever seen. So we're going to keep them out of the, somebody else's cooler right now. If it, was, if it was my cooler, I'd say, yeah, go ahead. And I appreciate the suggestion because we're getting about full. But I do have a milk crate if we do need it. So we'll continue taking these. Also, I want to make a mention. Right now, things are really speeding up. The, the auction is, is taking off here. Um, again, we, oh, the, the bidder, O'Brien, was the username. Just put in the last bid. Um, so I, was, I said we're going to ring the bell. Everybody at home, please raise the glass here. I'm going to grab mine. We have bids on every single item here tonight. Everything's being sold here tonight. And all the support that we have from our cat, let's ring this bell. Here we go. All right, folks, take a drink. Even if you're drinking milk or water at home, we don't mind. We're all doing this together. And by the way, like they say, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings, except for one time a year. One time a year, every time the bell rings, that means that we had some generous donor or something happen at the Magic of Children, so we're all going to raise a glass. If you don't get through and you're trying to call us here at the Magic of Children, please try again. Hang up and, and try again. We're trying to man all the phone lines, but, but it's been busy because we got people buying golf balls. We got people giving money. We have people supporting our school in many different ways. In fact, I'm even getting a phone call right now. Just one second. Oh. Hey, thanks. I just got a phone call from one of, our, uh, one, of our, one of our young teachers saying, you are doing a nice job. We appreciate what you're doing for the school. I appreciate that comment. But you know what I appreciate more? All of you who are helping us do this. Because your gift, honestly, your gift is helping that, those young teachers that are getting their first teaching job out of college and they're starting at a small Catholic school and they're thinking, boy, a lot of small Catholic schools, I don't know what that school is going to be like when I get there. I would share this video with any one of our new teachers, anybody who's looking at applying for a job here at Marquette, because they would see how great the support for our school is. Let's keep going here. We got more golf balls. I can't keep up with these, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep going because we have um, another, just somebody who, who helps out Marquette in a million different ways. Heather Weber, um, not only is she going to paint that, whatever color you want, including a rhinoceros, if that's what you're looking for, but Heather Weber helps out in our daycare. When the other day we found out that we had the case of COVID in the daycare, she gave me a call at 1130 at night or 1030 at night, letting me know what's going on. And we developed the strategy for moving forward. She cares about all of the kids so deeply um, that, that she has the opportunity to serve. And I'm hearing the rain. Sorry for the, the train of thought changing. I don't think that there's a baseball game here tonight. <laughs> Hopefully that gets rescheduled. Heather Weber, you got chances to win, but I noticed that you only have five. And to cover everybody in your house, you're going to need one more. So Heather Weber, number 195, number 219. Number 237, number 194, and number 241. Hey, Heather, thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do at Marquette. If you are joining on Zoom or if you're joining on Facebook, write Heather a quick message. She appreciates every one of those, and she's certainly deserving of all the nice things that we've said there. All right. I'm going to make sure I got this name right. All right. Yep, yep. We got, I just want to make sure that I, was, I had small handwriting at the bottom there. Steve and Tina Yeager have purchased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten golf balls, all with a chance to win. And by the way, Steve and Tina, you are getting a golf ball that has the name Ron written on it. The other side has number 226. But somebody named Ron used this golf ball before you got it. I mean, that's got to be lucky. 226. Let's read off the rest of the numbers. I think you might be getting the last orange golf ball. I can't imagine that there's many more of these left. 242. The rain's coming down. 213. 266. 248. 282. 199. 221. See, I love these big orders. Because <laughs> it's like, who, who even knows what's happening right now? But you know what? It, it, 
it's so fun, right? And I, I hope maybe Steve and Tina are writing these down so that way they can say, okay, we know if that one lands in there, we want to make sure we get our TV. 271 and 249. All right. Over at the Kaiser household, I just got a text message also. Over at the Kaiser household, Kelsey turned on the TV tonight. The kids get to watch a TV show before bed. Guess what they watch tonight? They got to watch all of us celebrating over here. And for the kids to be able to see me and be able to do that, that was kind of a neat thing too. I know it's not ideal. I wish we were in person. But hey, this is still pretty fun. Oh, all right. We have a question that came through, and I want to make sure to clarify this. Oh, I better go back. I just grabbed the golf ball. I make sure I say who got it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Sarah and Anthony, who have been watching through the course of all night, they, they bought their, their golf ball for Braylon. So I, I made a comment. They bought each golf ball one at a time. They got golf balls all through there. And they got one for, for Anthony first so he can, he can play Rocksmith. They got one um, for Sarah later. They got one for Briella because it was her birthday. And now they had to make sure Br uh, Braylon got one also. So Braylon, if number 193 gets called, you get a new TV in your room. So, so give your mom, Braylon, if you know Braylon, and most people that have kids in our daycare know Braylon pretty well, give your mom a big hug for getting you your own golf ball. And guess what? Even if it doesn't win, we will make sure that your mom gets that golf ball to stock your stuffing with for Christmas. When you open it up and you get that, you take out that golf ball and it says it could have been a TV, you remember how exciting it was that you got a golf ball because we know that that's exciting too. All right. We got a question about what one of the packages um, all contains. So this blue thing right here, this is a cooler, but it's not just any cooler, folks. Look at this. Straps on the back. You can wear this like a backpack. Could it be your child's backpack next year? Well, it could, but I'd recommend you using this for what its purpose is, is to put cold beverages in. So what you can do then is you can take this thing down to the beach. It actually is a very thick cooler. Like I, I think that this would keep food cool for a while. So if you're going down to the beach and you don't want to wheel a, a you know Yeti cooler down on the through the sand, but you're like, I gotta get my drinks down by the, you know, uh, on a sandbar. Okay. You throw this sucker on. Ooh, that thunder. You throw this this on, and you're gonna be able to walk over and you're gonna be able to dress in style. Now I gotta make a comment real quick. The power. If the power goes out, we can't extend how long bidding hour goes. Your cell phones might still work, but don't wait right now because if the power goes out and we lose access to our TVs, we lose access to our bidding hour, you lose access to your internet, okay, what are you going to do? Don't wait to put your bids in. If there's ever a night not to wait for the last second, tonight's tonight because you'll miss out. So we got this cooler, but you can't find this cooler alone. Okay, you can't find this cooler alone on the Magic of Children. And the reason why is because it's part of a big package that was supplied by Manny's Pizza as well as Stephanie and Kelly McCumbie. All right, so what you get, you get this cooler. You get these hooded sweatshirts, a medium and a large hooded sweatshirt. And in case you haven't seen them yet, they look really cool. I, I like that front side because that, that looks like an emblem I see quite a bit. And then on the back side, they have the Manny's Pizza logo. If we do lose power, folks, if that happens, that, that's the end of our night. We're going to try getting back on before 8 o'clock, but no guarantees. So, again, do not wait to bid. Do not wait. We have our case of bush light that's included with that package that you can fill that cooler with. And what else we have is the uh, year-long supply of pizza. One pizza per month, three-topping pizza over at Manny's. Treat the family out every month. All right. Are there any items that I want to really, that, that are still going for a great deal? If there are items that are going for a low price, I'd like to make sure that we let people know what all is in store there. If something's going really well right now, again, that's great. That's great. And if you're looking at one of those items that keeps going up, hit buy it now. Let us ring the bell to you. Let us ring that bell for you. And let us give a toast to you from the Marquette community. That would be a lot of fun for us. All right. Let's stop and talk. Um, here, 
we have this uh, television, or not, I'm losing my mind. We have this American flag right here. Um, this was donated by the Conrad's. It is a heavy American flag, good decor for your home, outside of your home. We have that bench. Again, that Marquette bench is going for a good price right now. But again, if we could be in person right now, you're going to, you'd, you'd outbid yourself. If you're the high bidder, you would, you would raise that bid right now if you could see it. We also have this uh, picnic table that seats eight. We have all these items right here. We have all the packages, all the different uh, trips. Um, Steve Tebby and Kathy Tebby have donated a whole bunch of different opportunities to, to wineries, to breweries. We have our sponsors. I'll recognize those people in just a second, too. I mean, again, here we have a lot of people that are helping to make tonight a huge success. Included in those people, getting 10 more <laughs> golf balls. We have Joe and Nancy Plussell. Hey, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to read out the numbers that you have, so make sure you have a pen and paper ready, Nancy, because I want to make sure that you get the golf balls um, and know which numbers are yours. So if you win, you can yell out and cheer. You got 258 and 259. You got 254. You got 257. You got 245. We've been going, folks, since 2 o'clock this afternoon. So if you are just joining us, we have been keeping up this excitement since 2 o'clock, 265. At 2 o'clock, this basket was empty. There were no golf balls in it at all. I, I, did, think, I did think that we were out of orange golf balls, but um, I guess uh, Nancy Plussell and Joe, you have another one. 247, 260, 291, and... 261. Good luck as we are going to be drawing that. The, the raffles will be drawing here right towards the end of the night at about 8 o'clock. Once the live bidding is all closed down, we'll all take a breather. We'll congratulate ourselves. We'll raise a drink. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the cash raffle. Chance to win $2,000. Chance to win $2,000. By the way, I don't, I'll don't. i have to get an update here on how we're doing on our matching total. Again, we have match, people that have pledged matching gifts up to $3,750. $3,750, yes. So we have this huge, huge fund that's sitting there of pe for people, young alumni, whoever you are, and you're saying, I can't give a ton. You don't, you don't have to. You can, you can double your donation right by just going to biddingowl.com. Going on that part where it says magic of children, going into the area that says, you know, the helping hands and the matching gift, click matching gift, give a gift, and we will match it up to $37.50. All right. Alex and Laura Brinker. Hey, am I, am I right on this, Carenza? Can I ask you? Alex and Laura, Laura Brinker, did they give the um, chicken sandwiches? Oh, his parents gave those. Um, so I, I forgot to mention that. That was an item that was added, as were the Jeanette O'Brien cookies. So I, did, I, I forgot to mention those two different things. Um, we have extra things that were not on the booklet. So if you got a booklet and you are uh, you know, shopping right now on our Bidding Owl website, the chicken and dressing sandwiches that were prepared for getting ready for tonight, well, we couldn't eat them tonight, but they're ready for you. And so why don't you go ahead and get, get those for yourself? You can treat yourself to chicken and dressing sandwiches all week long. And then also Jeanette O'Brien always supplied cookies for a magic of children. And so you can purchase those right now um, simply by going to Bidding Owl and you can search and find those. All right. So let's go ahead. Alex and Laura Brinker purchased 10 golf balls. 10 golf balls. That is $100 towards Marquette. $100 towards the kids. 10 chances at a TV. So we got numbers 202. Number 171. Number 275, Hope This Beats Watching Tiger King. Number 306, and reruns the Jeopardy. 224, <laughs> it's something else. All right, 228. We've been watching a lot of uh, Lego movie at our house. 281, 220, that's right. 197, and we got 294. Man, we, this, this basket is about done. Um, and I see, as I'm walking back, another container of golf balls to read out. Jared, Jared Keeter with another donation here. Ten more golf balls. Hey, you know what? Whenever I see a, a ten golf balls coming in at a time, I'm like, you got enough Christmas presents there that will make any child happy. I mean, one golf ball in a stocking, yeah, that's cool. But now you can actually put one in the stocking and wrap one up and just keep writing. You could have had a TV. 
All right, here we go. Jared Keeter, pay attention and get your pen ready because you have number 188. You have number 232. You have number 262. You have number 292. I'm like stacking them up like eggs now. 225. Speaking of eggs, there is a package on the magic of children, a dozen eggs every week for a year. That equates to over 600 eggs. I think that's worth at least a dollar an egg. And nobody has bid that much yet. So let's get that there. Number 256. Another orange golf ball. 246. 293. Even if we wanted the fun to continue to last, the auction is going to end at 8 o'clock. 234. So get those bids in now. 255. Chris, can you update the computer real quick? Let's take a look at where we're at. 26. $1,528 have been raised through Bidding Owl. And that, again, folks, does not include all of the many, many donation. All of the many, many donations that have been called in today or have been brought in before it started storming like cats and dogs out there. All it includes, all you know, that this number only includes what was given through Bidding Owl. So thank you. Again, I keep saying that. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. And I wanted to make a quick mention, whatever the pizza package and canned meat sell for, Gail will make more for anyone that would like to donate the, the winning bid amount to the school. All you have to do is contact Carenza if you would also like to be included in that. So as tonight ends, if you thought, man, that pizza package is one I didn't want to miss, contact Carenza. And if you're the one bidding on it, hey, reason to bid more. I'm just going to point that out. If you're the winner of that auction, Everybody else that wants that auction or wants that to, to be, uh, you know, a donation that they can make, Gail Mickles, Roger Manders have donated a ton of stuff for the Magic of Children. They provided the first $1,500 match here tonight. And now Gail comes out and says, you know what? Also for Marquette, look, I want to give not only to the school, but to the families that are bidding here tonight. If somebody wants the, the famous canned beef, if somebody else wants to get some of those pizzas, I'll make more of it for whoever wants it. We have fifth minutes. Folks, we have been going live for five hours and 45 minutes without much of a break other than a quick one so I could scarf down a hamburger. And if you've been watching us throughout the course of the night, you know what's all been going on here. You know of all of our items. I know that we have some items that still need some, some bids. I haven't rung that bell in a while, and we are going to be able to do that All right, we have a username. Susan Williams. Susan also protected me tonight from tripping over the golf uh, tee, uh, tee, the putting green here. I was trying to make the word, trying to figure out what I was going to say. The putting green tonight, Susan Williams has purchased Gail Mickles canned beef at the buy it now price, which is really the real price of that canned beef anyways. We're selling that at retail value. Let's ring the bell. <laughs> yeah, let's ring the bell here. Thank you, Susan Williams. All right. I think I have some more. I just saw a bunch more cards come in. And if people have been waiting on that, buy it now. Now's the time to do it. Oh, awesome. Hey, hey, we got 15 minutes. And we have raised 2,795 of the $3,750 matching gift. So if somebody is out there and you've been wondering, is, should I give now? The answer could not be a stronger yes. We have less than $1,000 to go on that $37.50 matching gift. Every dollar, dollar for dollar, will be matched on this $37.50. And let's, let's make everybody who's committed to that, let's make them pay up, right? You can't just call in and say, I'll give a matching gift if it gets met. No, 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 no. We want to say, look, we're going we're gonna to make sure that everybody who made that commitment is going to have to pay it. So why don't we make sure that that happens? We hope to get some more. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Squires, he's been watching here tonight. He said, Mr. Squires, I want to give, you know, 10 more golf balls put you at where Jim and Jennifer Klein were at for uh, the most golf balls being purchased tonight. You know, if, if you bought a golf ball for every year that you served Marquette, I really wonder how many golf balls that would be. I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, Jim Squires with 10 more golf balls. Let's see where we're at with that. I'm going to read off the numbers. 325. We got 314. We got 312. <laughs> we got we got three orange golf. We keep finding orange golf balls. 310. 308. 311. 
I think after this, Chris, if you don't mind, just dump, let's dump these on the crate. 316, otherwise I'm never going to be able to pick this up. 277, 288, and 317. Holy smokes. Folks, at the beginning of the night, we, <laughs> we put together 150 going, I don't know if we're going to sell 150. Now, at this point, we, we have made a couple more sales. We have made a couple more, a couple more sales than, uh, or sales on the golf balls than the uh, 150. There's no doubt about that. And they keep coming in. They keep coming in. So let's go ahead and read a couple more here. Oh, hey, Jackie Keeter, another member of our school board. Uh, she, she said, you know what? I want to make sure every one of my kids gets a golf ball for Christmas because even if she wins the TV, she has enough golf balls for every one of the kids to get a couple. That's a great strategy. You know, I was thinking about that. And just getting enough golf balls to cover everybody in the family is good. But everybody, even if, then if you win a TV, somebody has to go down a golf ball. So let's go ahead and read off Jackie Keeter's numbers. <laughs> Chris is up here struggling to get the golf balls in there. We got 274. We got 298. 253. Jackie, you got two, or 300. Number 300. 321. 285. 222, 222, that's got to be lucky in some, some, yeah, 300 and 222, 218, 287, and 286, Jackie Keeter, good luck to you, and this, this golf ball thing is taking off like crazy, I wish I could keep telling you all the other stuff, don't forget the senior quest quilt, the uh, kindergarten quilt, our quilt from our mission people, the, all of the great packages, the winery, the breweries, River Ridge. I mean, I could keep going on and on about everybody who keeps giving the Marquette, but I got to keep reading off golf balls, which is fine. I mean, I don't mind doing that either. But we got tables. We got chairs. We got coolers. We got we got something for everybody. Those golf car. I, I don't know what the golf um, uh, putters and, and uh, golf clubs are going for right now, but before it was a super good deal. Make sure if you looked up what those are worth, I, I have a feeling you'll be bidding more right now. All right. So let's take a look. We got we got more golf balls. <laughs> we, have, we, we have 10 minutes, and I'm looking at this, this uh, crate of golf balls. We, our crate is almost full of golf balls. And, and if you're looking at this from home, I put in my hand on top of this. Every one of these golf balls is, is a $10 donation. And if you want to talk about a little bit goes a long way, there are people who just have one golf ball in here. We have people that have only given one golf ball, and it wouldn't be this full if it wasn't for that one golf ball. That is incredible. Alice Kilberg, thank you so much. You have 10 more white golf balls being put in. If you got a pen and paper ready, Alice, mark this down. You got 315. You got 263. You have 301. You have 289. You have 302. You have 299. You have 270. You have 297. You have 318. You have 320. And I am laughing because this, this, is, this is crazy. I could have never imagined kind of support for a golf ball. All right. We have, a, we have another buy now. Somebody said, you know what? He hasn't rung that bell enough tonight. $1,500 was committed towards the Iowa football tickets against the Wisconsin Badgers. So whoever that was, uh, the username was DJS. You, you are making sure I cannot cheer on the Badgers there that night. Let's go ahead and ring the bell. for. Hey, if you got a glass at home, raise up your cup right now because we are toasting to DJS. We're toasting to Marquette here and our future. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Hey, this one's for you. All right. And I've, I've, <laughs> well, this is exciting. People apparently waited and they said, you know what? We want to give everyone a chance to win, which is appreciated. We like everybody getting a chance to win. And then at the end, people go, well, I don't want to lose. And so here's a couple of those examples. Um, we have the username Lisa S. Lisa, thank you so much. Did a buy it now on Gail and Rogers famous canned beef. Hundred dollars there. Raise your glass up for Lisa. Raise your glass for Gail and uh, for Roger, and also let's raise our glass towards Marquette and our future. Take a drink. We're ringing the bell. I will give you a chance if you got to refill your glass real quick. We got another buy it now. Username 
is a mystery. See if you can figure out who this might be. I know you're thinking about it. Username was Larry Herrig. Leaves a lot to the imagination. All right, Larry Herrig. Thank you. He already did a buy it now on the Road Rock and the Lime. Um, hey, and, and again, every little bit helps. I know you could probably get that Road Rock and Lime cheaper somewhere else, but nowhere else can you buy it where you're supporting Marquette. So let's raise a glass to Larry Herrig. Let's raise a glass to Marquette and our future and to Close Brothers Incorporated for donating that. And let's hear it for our future. Grab your drinks. Let's do it again. If you're on Zoom, we expect to see you. All right. Folks, we are down to our final minutes now. We have, we have about seven minutes until this auction closes. Seven minutes. So if you are looking at an item on there, I haven't even been able to talk about the items as much as what I hope to do, but you can read about them and you can watch that preview video. You can see everything. After this too, we will reveal which purse has the diamond necklace in it, okay? Well, technically none of them do, but one of them was the winning one. So we're going to, thank you. We're going to be able to let you know which the winning per, which purse was the winning purse. Somebody's walking away with a $600 purse or, well, $600 necklace inside of that purse. So that's pretty cool. And if you don't get that, remember, you still get $100 in there and some of the price tags are on the purse. And, and, and to be honest with you, I can tell you that I did not know that purse would sell for that much. All right, Todd Squires. Todd Squires must be helping uh, make sure that we have all Squires getting all the golf balls to represent all the years that Jim Squires was principal. Let's go ahead and, and uh, recognize Todd Squires. I'm going to read these off fast, Todd, so make sure that you have your pen ready. 345, 331, 327, 335, 329, 324, 340, 334. 332 and 339. We are down to under 10 minutes left in our auction. Actually, five minutes. Five minutes. Everything sells in five minutes. Get those last bids in. If you're buying golf balls, get that done quick because we want to make sure that everybody who's buying golf balls gets entered. Dan Kilberg. Dan Kilberg also putting golf balls in. 320, 323 and 319. Thank you, Dan, for your donation. Thank you for your gift. Thanks for watching tonight. And I hope Again, I hope that this has been more entertaining for you than watching some old TV show, some rerun somewhere. And I hope, too, that you throughout the course of tonight can experience the excitement that we have, any employee has for Marquette. Uh, anybody who works here, anybody who sent their children here has for Marquette. Jacob Formella. Hey, this is so, so five, five more golf balls and five more chances to win. Thank you, Jacob. 343, 336. 326. This bin is almost full. 333. Another one of those very lucky numbers. And 338. I will have to have some official judges come down when we dump out these golf balls. Because if we have more than one land in the hole, we're only going to recognize the, the, uh, the first one in there. Oh, my goodness. So my mom was one of the very first people to bid on a golf ball. And I've been talking about it throughout the course of the night that the Bob Kaiser method is to, that's my dad, is to find out how many winners there will be and buy as many tickets as there are winners. And my mom has just gone against Bob Kaiser, the Bob Kaiser method. Ruth Kaiser has purchased three more golf balls. Hey, mom, thanks so much for, uh, for joining with us tonight. We appreciate that. And I can tell you, everybody in the market community appreciates you too. Um, I mean, again, somebody that doesn't have the connection to Marquette other than her son works here. And she's saying, look, she used to work at a small Catholic school too. She knows what small Catholic schools have to, to do to raise money. She said, look, I want to help out how I can at Marquette. Thank you. 322, you are a friend of Marquette. 346. And that's the thing, folks. Even if you don't have anything else to do with Marquette, you are a friend of Marquette. If you bought one golf ball tonight, you're a friend of Marquette. If you put anything towards those matching gifts, and we only have a couple minutes left for those matching gifts to get to that last $1,000, let's go ahead and refresh the screen real quick, Chris. Because we're almost at thirty thousand, we're at twenty-eight two twenty-two, twenty-eight two twenty-two. So if we can get that last like eighteen hundred or seven eight seventeen hundred and eighty dollars, what we get to do then is we get to ring the bell one more time for that, and you'll be a hero because you'll have the reason why everybody gets to raise their glass one more time. So let's go, and we have more golf balls. Courtney Keeter making sure her last two kids <laughs> making sure her last two kids get a golf ball. Hey, Courtney, thank you so much. Number 276. 
And also number 328. Oh, that's that's fun. Hey, she got enough golf balls for everybody. She followed that strategy of mixing up when she bought them. Rick Mickles has purchased golf balls here tonight, folks. We got number 342 and 307. And I, do you think do you think it would be possible for us to get that senior class quilt down and for that uh, freshman or the the um, it's just clipped. Yeah, we want to bring those down here real quick. We want to show those. I know we might not make it in time to be able to show them while we're still bidding because, I mean, our auction's almost done. But but they are they are very nice. Sandy Keeter, right? Sandy Keeter purchased number 337 and number 313. We wanted to show those earlier tonight, but we just keep getting caught up with the excitement of everything else that's going on. And I hope you watching at home have gotten caught up in the excitement too. This is, this is good fun. Chris, run it over here. All right, what we have right now is the kindergarten quilt. All of our kindergarten students from last year each put their individual style and faces on these. If you had a kindergarten student last year, what a nice gift for them. Creighton talks about missing his friends every day. And if he, we have a book where they all signed it and put a thumbprint on it. He asked me all the time, who are all, you know, whose thumbprint is that? For them to be able to recognize their friends, that's a pretty cool thing. And the senior class quilt actually looks like a quilt here. Chris, can you help me hold this one too? We're almost out of time, folks. The auction's about closed. All right, senior class quilt. You can see here every senior from last year's senior class has a square that was dedicated that they helped create. Our senior class of 2020 had a year like none other, never to be repeated again. Fingers crossed. And so we want to make sure that we recognize our seniors. Hey, for everybody who's been donating tonight, who everybody that helped put stuff together, we are so, so appreciative of everything that you're doing for us as a school. Let's take a look. We have one minute left in the raffle. If you just saw one of those items and we're thinking about bidding, do it now. You don't have any more time. Any more buy it now. Do it now. You don't have any more time. If you're buying a golf ball, we'll give you a couple more seconds. Call in and get your last golf balls. 28 seconds left. And folks, this will be in the books. And believe me, there's a little bit of a delay. So if you hear me saying, I can't count you down, you're going to have to count yourself down because if I started now, it's going to be over before I'm done. It looks like the auction is over. Chris, can you refresh the page? We have $29,050. You know what? Let's raise our cups to that. That is incredible. In just six hours, in six hours, we raised over almost $30,000 using Bidding Owl tonight. We also had donations from like a Mike Hansen gave $5,000 for COVID relief. That's not reflected up there. We had many people calling in and giving donations, people that walked up, people that, there was somebody who came up here just a little while ago, an envelope of $1,000. They said, look, for helping, it's for magic of children. Use it how the school wants to use it. Things like that made huge differences. You made a huge difference tonight. Our teachers appreciate you. So this last toast that we're going to do for a minute, we'll probably do another toast. But this next toast that we're going to do is for everybody who watched here tonight, everybody who bid here tonight, everybody who supports our school. This one's for you. Raise your glasses high. This one's for everybody. Let's ring that bell. All right. Like I said. Okay. <laughs> Who was that? All right. Awesome. Hey, we had, we had somebody that just purchased 100 golf balls. We don't have 100 more golf balls at the moment. So if you have more golf balls at your house, run them over here real quick. If you are just joining us, and, you, and, and you're just here to see how it all ends, it's going to be a little bit because we got the cash raffle to get sorted out. I have limited support here because we didn't have many people here so we could social distance. We got 100 more golf balls to put in there. Um, we have, but we'll, you know what? We're going to provide some entertainment for you. Hopefully we've done that throughout the course of the night. We'll still be able to do our purse auction. I'll find out who won each one of those purses and then I'll go through them one at a time. It'll be as much a surprise for me as it is a surprise for you. So let's go ahead and sit, count out the, these people that also gave, oh my goodness, hey, I want to give a shout out here real quick to somebody who is joining us from New York. So Mark Meyer, um, I, I believe this is, 
Oh, wait, Mark Meyer, he's at, he's at the Hockman Funeral Home. There, there was another Mark <laughs> that, that's from New York. Mark Meyer is probably not, not joining us from, that was Max, so never mind. Mark, hey, thank you so much. Mark is giving, uh, to, he is entering two chances to win um, that, that TV, number 283 and number 341. Thank you so much, Mark. Greatly appreciated. We look forward to next year, and we look forward to what next year is going to bring. We also have another Mark here. Mark Oliver, thank you very much. I'm not sure if I, Kevin or Maya need a, a TV in their room, but you know what? It, 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 I'm going to dedicate one to each of them. We got number 352. We got number 356. We got number 347. All right, Maya, this one's yours. 348, if 348 wins, well, you got to tell your mom and dad that you get it. 296, 358, 350. Gavin, this one's for you. 344, 349, and 278. Whew. I, I think we have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be moving the golf balls once again. We're going to shuffle them up because we have another 100 golf balls that we are going to have to add at least. And I see the phones are still alive with people that are calling in, trying to get a chance to enter into everything and make sure that everything's wrapped up. Still making gifts. If you would like to make a phone call and still give to Marquette, again, we're going to be adding up this total for a little bit of time here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to try doing it all. Chris brought me a guitar. I mean, we got, we got ways to keep you entertained here, at least until we're ready to end the night. You know, usually we're, we're used to ending these things at like, you know, 11 o'clock. I know it's 8 o'clock. I know my kids are in bed. I know you might be trying to get your kids to bed, but please give us a moment, folks, as we do get ready for this final golf, um, the, <laughs> the, the golf drop, okay? And we're going to be doing the cash raffle soon. Because of our limited help here, it does make it a little bit more difficult. We had people that were writing down names for golf balls. We had people writing names for, for the cash raffle. But that last little bit of time there, it was tough to keep up. And that's the way we wanted it. We're going to be able to head, go ahead here in just a moment. We're going to draw the, is that almost full? Okay. Well, you know what? We'll dump them out at the same time. Yeah. You, you and me will go up on stage and we'll dump them at the same time. All right. Chris, are you able to go on the bidding owl? Can you see the winning bidders on each one of these four purses? And what we'll do then, folks, is I don't know which one's the winner. They're all winners, of course, because everybody gets at least a $100 gift card to Dolan Jeweler. But what we're going to do then is we will um, call them off and, and uh, thank the bidders who uh, purchased those purses. And then we will uh, reveal what's inside of them as well. All right. All right, Julie Coos. This is the one that you won, Julie Coos. Um, this is your purse. It, it is a beautiful purse. I, if, I, if I knew anything about purses, this is the one that I think I would like. M mate, all three of them? Oh, right here? All right. Mate, mate that's the username on this one. Um, and uh, Mate also was one of our reasons that we did a toast tonight as he bought one of Gail Mickle's famous uh, beef and Roger Manders' famous canned beef. So thank you for that earlier, and thank you for purchasing this uh, purse. I'll let you know what's inside each one of these. The light blue coach purse. MHS Fan 6. Yeah, that means, that means we must have MHS fans one, two, three, four, and 5. And the 6th one, hey, you got a beautiful coach purse coming your way. Sandy Keeter. Sandy Keeter won this uh, greenish colored uh, purse that we couldn't, didn't know what it was at the beginning, and I can't remember exactly what model it was. Chris will double check on that. We're going to reveal which... Simply Vera what? Simply Vera Wang. Okay, Carrie, Carrie, thank you. Carrie Moore helped us out with the pronunciation <laughs> with what it was called. Um, let's see. Andy, you were just up. Are you, are you monitoring the uh, uh, Zoom real quick? 
Chris, I'm going to borrow you real quick. Chris is going to open up these purses with me. We're going to reveal what's inside. We got Julie Coos, we got Mate, we got MHS Fan, and we have Sandy. So let's let's find out which one of these is our is our winner. And believe me, I, I have no idea. So it could be the first one, just as much as any other one. So, all right, yo, this is a drum roll. I I never got to do this. You know, usually the women that that win the purses get to do this. So. We got pictures for the yearbook coming. Yep. We have, what, is that going to, I don't think that's a box. This must be what's inside. Oh, there's a, oh, this is, we, we don't know anything about purses. <laughs> there's apparently a dust bag that comes with it. We're not seeing a box in here. If we open up all four of them and we don't find a box, then, then we'll start over and keep searching. Let's put it in the dust bag. All right. Yes. All right, Julie Coos. Right, we don't think that you won, but there's no guarantee of that. We're looking for a box in one of these. This was Mate. Okay, let's see if Mate was the winner. I see another dust box. And there's something in here. There's paper in here. The other one had paper, too. I'm not finding a box in this one either, mate. So unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot verify that this is the winning one. That doesn't mean it's not the winning one. It just means I haven't found the box yet. All right. This was MHS Fan 6. So there's still a chance that we need a, we're going to find a winning one in one of these. I'm not, I'm not seeing a box in here. I'm going to just have to ask Forenza which one she put it in. You have a very special dust bag. Okay, I can tell you that. Yes, it looks silky and coach, it says. All right, so we're going we're gonna to think that we're going to find it in here. If we don't, Krenz, I'm just going to ask you which one won because we, we're looking for this box. It shouldn't, shouldn't be so hard to find. All right, last one, last chance to win. Oh, and we did find it, folks. We, we found the box. Sandy, congratulations. You are going to be taking home with you a diamond necklace, a diamond necklace from Dolan Jewelers. Valued at $599. I'm going to go ahead and put this right in that box for you. When you come and pick up your purse, that will be yours to take home, yours to wear, yours to enjoy. And everybody wins because every one of those other purses, they do come with a $100 Dolan gift card. Boy, that made it a lot more exciting. I'm glad we the last one that we chose was the one with it in it. I had no idea which one would have it. And, you know, I mean, I wanted everybody to win. But if it would have been the first one, it would have been a little anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a little tougher to say. No, we found it in the first one, but let's do the next one. All right, so we got that found out. Um, we're still working on making sure we get all the golf balls that are coming in. Yep, we're still waiting on those. But we do we have somebody bringing them in? Yes, yeah, somebody's on their way with 100 extra golf balls, and they have just arrived. So we're going to mark those up and be able to get those ready for you. And uh, username was Penny, so thank you so much. Um, we also have, um, what else do we have? We Oh, the cash raffle. When they tell me it's good to go on that, we will go ahead and do that. There's still, we, we have people working like crazy back there. Thank you again for everybody that joined in with us here tonight. Um, I, hope, I hope that your summers have been going uh, very well. I hope that you've had some time to rest and relax and recover. I know a lot of parents here were helping teach their kids um, over the course of the last few weeks. I know that it's been, a, you know, we always talked about the importance of support at home and at school, and it takes a lot of people to help bring a child up. Well, we, we were partners like never before also. And I hope, I think that tonight we're able to see how much of that actually came true. Um, this is not about one family. This is not about one kid. This is about us as, as a collective unit coming together and saying, you know what? We, we are Marquette, you know, that, that cheer, you know, we are Marquette go big red. That's all of us. That's all of us that have graduated from Marquette years ago. It's all of us that have had kids that have graduated Marquette. Those that are just starting off at Marquette. It, it's a really unique community. It's a great place to be. We're glad that you joined us here tonight. And if you still have a chance to win one of these, stay on. We're not going to end our broadcast until we do our drawings, um, and which will be coming up here very soon. We know we have people joining from all over, um, from, from not, just, not just this area, um, but also from, you know, Wisconsin, we have people that I've seen from uh, as far away as Florida that have joined in with some of our auctions. We had somebody in our silent auction from New York that was participating. That's why I made that comment earlier about uh, New York. 
Um, we've, we've had a lot of people that have had a lot to do with our success here, none of which, none of which would be possible if it wasn't for all of you and the, the, um, and the fun that we were able to have here tonight. So, all right. I, I'm, I'm not running out of steam. I'm just making sure that we have enough. Uh, and, and we have all of the silent of um, the raffles in before we do our drawings. Um, and I don't want to keep bothering them. It's just slowing everything down. So let's see. I, we don't even have anybody at the moment that, watching the Zoom sessions and stuff. So I can't, can't communicate. I'm going to take, take a look over here. All right. I was trying to read some of the comments, but I'm trying to read them upside down. Hey, this was a very fun night for me. I hope that it was a fun night for you also. Um, and, and again, it, nights like this, we were planning months and months in advance, and it needed to change. And then it needed to change again. And then it needed to change even two days before the event as things continued to develop around Bellevue. And we started thinking, again, never was the question, will we do it? The question was always, how can we do this? And when there was ever any doubt about, is this going to work? The answer was always, you know what? This is the Marquette community. Of course it's going to work. We always find a way. So let's go ahead and thank our sponsors real quick one more time here tonight. I also want to thank our committee um, to help bring uh, tonight together. All right, so we had our star sponsors, Riverview Chiropractic, um, Hockman Funeral Homes, the Paco Credit Union, Ide Bailey CPA and Business Advisors. We also had Bellevue Sand and Gravel and Bob Ernst Insurance that all helped to sponsor our event here tonight. Uh, gold sponsors, Premier Home Furnishing. They also supplied this television for us, uh, which, which again, every single one of those golf balls represented $10. And every single one of those golf balls represented a commitment to Marquette. We're about to flip those over and see how many were in there. And we was over 500 golf balls I think we probably had in the end. Just, just an amazing, amazing outreach of support for our school in that way. Thank you again so much. Bellevue State Bank. Um, we're, oh, these, were, these are gold sponsors. I'll go back to our silver sponsors. So gold sponsors, Premier Family or Home Furnishing, Bellevue State Bank, Fidelity Bank, Dolan Jewelers, Kiefer Plumbing and Heating. Also, Jim Schrader Construction. Our silver sponsors included Bell State Bank. I turned too many pages. Bender's Food, as well as Till's Chevrolet and Buick Garage. And then we also had our platinum sponsors, who were Tracy Exports and North Family and Friends. Thank you again so much for all of that help. I'm just going to check my messages real quick on my phone. Let's see. Oh, somebody's outside with all of the golf balls. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them know that we're coming. They're outside of the um, door. Is all they said. Yeah, somebody me somebody messaged me to let me know I'm standing outside with the golf balls, and how do I get into the mech? So we will get we will get them in, and then we'll finish up getting that golf ball. All right. Oh, and I have I have a message from my mom too. And uh, she sent the message, E to bid and win anything. So I, I don't, mom, I don't know what you mean. I don't know how you're watching, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to clarify E bid and win anything. So, hey, that's all right. I, 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 wherever, where everybody was at and bidding and, and participating, again, if you are able to do a cash or check, cash or check, we'd much prefer over credit card. If you are able, if you have connections, reach out to us. What we again, when you this is the beauty of a small town. We trust you. We know that if you say you're going to mail a check, you're going to do something, we're going to make sure that you know we're going to know that we're going to get it. You're good on your word. Um, and uh, if you don't have any other way of paying us, we'll take credit card. That's all right. Again, we incur a two percent penalty if you do pay by credit card, so we'd prefer not to do that because we want every dollar to stretch out as far as it can. Let's see, we're going to find out. Um, I'm going to ask a question here real quick. I'm going to go off air for a second.
All right, we're looking into whether or not we have any of unused dollars for the matching. We were less than $1,000 away about at 730. So we're going to double check into that. We'll let you know if we're really, really close. We'll let you know and we'll open up our phone lines just to get to that last little bit if we have to. Um, I had somebody from, we were wondering where people were joining in from. Steve from Scottsdale, Arizona. Steve was in the class of 1974. It says Steve from Scottsdale, Arizona, class of 1974, 1978. So um, that must be a, a really relationship there. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the compliment and, and the comment there. We had a lot of fun here tonight. I got to be honest with you. This was, this was enjoyable for me. I don't, mind, I don't mind talking about our school anytime. There's a lot of great stuff that's happening here. We, we adapted even tonight. There were changes, you know, I mean, that that's, <laughs> that's part of what tonight was all about. So we're going to look into and check and see if we have any unused matching dollars. And as soon as we know that, we'll let you know. Um, we want to make sure if we can use up every matching dollar, we want to make, we want to make all those people that made those pledges pay up. So we're going to find out here in a second. All right. Awesome. So, so we're good then. We, we were able to meet our match. Now, somebody was asking me because they said I could give a little bit more. You know, we would, we would take that too. But we ended up in that matching fund that started at $1,000, went up to $1,500, continued to $3,750. We ended up raising on that matching funds $4,095 plus the $3,750 match. That is awesome. That's almost ten thousand dollars. I mean, if you know, doing <laughs> doing math that I would do at home. If I was, hey, we're we're pretty close. All right, let's just round it up. Hey, we, we if we round up, that's almost ten thousand dollars that was done on that matching gift. Thank you so so much for that. Greatly appreciated. Um, we have we have people that are still in back putting together all of our cash raffles, making sure everybody's entered. Is that the last of the golf balls? Okay, we're still entering golf balls. Okay. Yes, I will not read off every number. Um, thank you, Penny, again for for the the. Uh, the uh, sure. She in general numbers three sixty seven through four sixty seven. Awesome. We're gonna enter those into our giant bin now that hasn't filled up. When we started tonight, I mentioned we didn't even think we'd sell one hundred and fifty golf balls, or we kind of thought. All right, well, we better write on a couple of them and figure out. I think if it's going well, we might have a couple more. But we got 350 to start with. We're almost up to 500 um, at this point. So I'm just I'm going to send a quick text message. Somebody's reaching out because they want to help support the school. And I just want to make sure I got the right amount. Sure, sure. If you are emailing Carenza right now, she is she is working on trying to put together all of the um, uh, the the cash raffles. So if you're looking for a way to pay by check or by cash and you're emailing her and telling her, hey, Carenza, this is how I'd like to help out, that, that's, that's great. We, 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 we appreciate you reaching out to her, but she's working on a lot of things, so it might take her a minute to get there. Again, if I would spin the camera around, I have a crew that's helping me of about five people, so we, we, we uh, are looking forward to that. And I have an anonymous donor that just reached out to me, and like I, you remember I was saying earlier to our young donors, our young alumni, Every little bit counts, and if you make a $10 donation, it counts as $20. Well, guess what? That donation counted as $30 now because somebody just reached out to me, and you can mark this down. They are matching anonymously that $4,095 that was raised. So we have somebody else that's reaching out saying, I will cover, four th I will match that again, $4,095 extra that has been raised. Thank you a million times. I mean, I mean, you talk about the power of giving, the power of like what it means to be at Marquette. Somebody comes out and they say, look, I'm going to help out this much because that's what I can do. Somebody else says, look, I can help match that. And somebody else comes along and says, you know what? People are giving from their hearts here tonight. We want to make sure to match that also. Everyone comes together. That's what it was all about tonight. I have a couple more golf ball names to read. Okay. 
Okay, we, we believe that we have sold 468 golf balls. Edgar Ortiz, my friend, <laughs> another golf ball. You have one other one in there. Okay, I'm just going to put that one on top. Thank you so much. That was, you know, again, another $10 donation, another golf ball, another opportunity to win. Very, very cool. Sue Kiefer came back, and she's going to donate a few more uh, golf balls here. We have Sue Kiefer, number 365, number 355, and number 363. Sue, hey, you know what? You got one for everybody in your household now. You're covered, and we'll make sure that those golf balls are going to get dumped out, and then they're going to get dumped out in style. All right. Oh, uh, Father Sean. You know, Father Sean has been a, a friend of Marquette for, I dropped a golf ball, for a long time here. And Father Sean must have been watching tonight thinking, you know what? I want to find a way to be able to support Marquette. And maybe Sh Father Sean needs a, a, a TV. And it's kind of, you know, I'm getting used to that, Father Sean. But you know what? Father Sean, you got five golf balls in. And if you don't win one of these, we'll make sure that you get a golf ball as well. You know, a stocking stuffer for you for Christmas. All right. So, Father Sean, 354, 359, 368, 366, 353. We are filling up this bin. This is more than 150 golf ball, folks. <laughs> this, is, this is almost 500 golf balls that, that we have put together in this bin. And this bin is starting to overflow. Talk about the love of Marquette overflowing. Holy cow. Marcin Tracy, 360, 362, 357, 361, 364. That just about covers everybody in your house. So, you know, I mean, that, that, that's good. That's good. If you want to make sure every kid gets a golf ball, I'm just saying. You, there's not, there's, you can still call in and help out. I'm just checking my messages here. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody was helping me. Tell me what my mom had to say. Do, 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 do. Oh, she, they were translating. My mom probably didn't win anything here tonight, but she did get golf balls. I know that much. And so, you know, she might, she might get something here tonight. Let's take a sip. We have been going strong here. We have been going all from 2 o'clock all the way through. We're at now almost, is it almost 8.30? Is it 8.30? Yeah, 8.30, and as soon as we, we – do we have all the golf balls, though? No more golf balls. Last call. If you would like a golf ball. They're, they're like, shaking their heads back there. We're done. We're done. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're just about out again. Let's get the putting green out. We're going to be a little bit longer for the cash raffle. Chris is going to help me out here. I got to set the mic down for just a minute. While we get this ready, we're going to have some fun dumping these, these golf balls out. And, again, if you don't win – We'd really appreciate you making the drive up here tonight to help pick up the golf balls. It's like when you're a kid and you play a board game. If you don't win, you got to you gotta help pick up afterwards, but the winner gets to go home. So, yeah, if, if you win, you don't have to come over and get your TV tonight. But if you lose, you got to help pick up golf balls for us. All right. Yeah. So how this is going to work... <laughs> In just a minute, we're going to stand up on stage. I'm going to dump out 500, go <laughs> 500 golf balls on the floor. We are hoping that one of those lands in the hole in one. Let, let's, I, I mean, I think, I think we're going to give this a little bit of a... All right, there, there we go. Can, can they see the hole? I, I will have to look at the camera. I want people to be able to see this happening. Because this is, this is awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to dub this out. We're going to hope we get 500 golf balls and one lands in the hole. If one, the, the first one that lands, okay, well, the first one that lands in the hole will win that TV. We'll call off the number. We have to look through 500 names of people that bought golf balls and make sure the right person that gets it get, gets uh, their TV and we, we can inform you. Everybody throughout the night has known what golf ball is yours because we read them all out. And we have a couple judges over here to maintain the integrity of the golf ball drop. <laughs> and then if nobody wins this first time around, which I can't imagine nobody will, I mean, it's 500 chances that one of them is going to land in this big hole. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take all the ones off the, off the green and we're going to put them back in a smaller bin. We're going to dump them out again. And then whoever's closest to the hole the second time around. So if you remember your golf ball numbers or if you wrote that down on a piece of paper, <laughs> 
go ahead and get that sheet out because when I drop this, we expect a collective scream across Bellevue. If you got kids asleep, we still need you to scream. Sorry, you got to wake the kids up for this one because this is too much fun. All right, here we go. Yeah, there, there is a sand trap on our putting green. So if, if it lands in there, you don't win. In fact, you owe us 10 more dollars. All right, let's go ahead and draw this. We have a winner. <laughs> you got to look at the floor here. That was, that was louder than all the thunder. Number 453 was our winner. 453, we'll look up to see who that was. Congratulations to number 453. Man, that was, that was, that was the cost of admission here tonight, folks. That, that was something else. Hey, for all of those who gave towards this golf ball drop, instead of being able to purchase the meal today, greatly appreciated. We got golf balls all over. We gave ourselves a tripping hazard because we still have to do some other things. And you know what? Where is, I should probably not lose that golf ball. All right, 453 was our winner. All right, winner name, username was Penny. Hey, if you have a drink at home, raise your glasses again here. We haven't done this for a little bit. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, if I trip over a golf ball at this point, for, for the person that warned me about be careful about the golf tee and the golf green there, I got to tell you, it got a lot more dangerous here right now. But raise your cup, raise your glass towards Marquette, towards our future, towards that golf ball drop. Hey, we love everybody that participated. Let's ring the bell. Let's grab a drink. What a success tonight has been. All right, I'm going to have one too. Mm. I don't know if a cheap drink has ever tasted so good. Why don't we go ahead and bring the cash raffle over here? I know we still have some cards coming, but, but we, you know, just so that way we can get ready for that because that's the next thing here. And again, if, if you did win on Bidding Owl, if you, if you were one of the winners on Bidding Owl, if you won something, try, if you, if you don't have to check out through Betting Owl where you have to pay with credit card, don't do it, okay? We're, our office is open on Monday. You can always run up your dollars. You can run up your checks. You can run up whatever it is. You can let us know, and we're going to make sure to be able to pay you for it, or uh, you can pay us for it. You can pay us for it. Also, if you're at home right now, and you had numbers 447, 257, or 444, you owe us uh, 10 more dollars for those because those did land in the sand trap. Sorry, that's... Tough luck. We, we have golf balls on the other side of the gym. I mean, that, they are everywhere. <laughs> so, and, and believe me, folks, if you want a golf ball and, and you want, you come up to the school on Monday, we'll put some golf balls and we'll have them ready for you. I, I mean it. I mean, you know, I, I think it'd be a, a fun stocking stuffer to put a golf ball in a kid's stocking and say, you could have had a TV instead. Man, if I was a kid, I'd, I'd get a kick out of that one. We just have one more raffle to go, a chance to win $2,000. So with all that's been raised here tonight, everything that's been done here tonight, I mean, again, this is, this is a lot of excitement. We did awesome on our helping hands. We'll get a total there here in a little bit for what we raised. But it's really tough to know for sure. Um, the reason why is because a lot of people gave a uh, helping hands that didn't give on bidding owl. We were getting phone calls all night saying, Hey, can we, can I give $300? Can I give a hundred dollars? Can I give $10 towards his helping hands? If you were joining us on Bellevue cable, if you're still watching on Bellevue cable, we had a lot of fun here tonight. And, uh, you know, I, I would say let's do it again soon, but let's take a little bit of a breather. Let's, let's take a break. Let's do it again next year for sure. And, and if you had fun here tonight, I promise you the magic of children each year is a unique event. This year it was more unique than ever. We can take what we learned here tonight and we can do this, you know, the things that worked here tonight, the things that you loved, the things that you found exciting. Let's find other ways to make this work again. So 
Oh, yes, yes. So let's make sure we do all of this. But, but again, I mentioned earlier tonight that all I did was I just talked and I just put golf balls together. The people behind the scenes were tremendous. And one person in particular, I'm not going to have her have to come up on camera because I know she wouldn't appreciate that so much. But Karenza Ketman, um, I got to give a huge, huge shout out to. Um, gave up time over and over and over again. Gave up time every time that we needed something. Every time that somebody said, can we try something? She always said, you know what? We can try something. We can, we can try something new. We can try something different. And, and the Magic of Children this year, anybody who's helped out with Magic of Children in the past knows it is a, a full-time thing. Well, imagine doing it and thinking you're going to have it in April, then postponing, then trying again, and then this week happens. And all of a sudden, there's an uptick of cases of COVID in Bellevue, and we start, you know, again, the question. If we never phrase the question as if we'll do it, but how we'll do it, that changes everything. It changes how we approach a school year. It changes how we approach events like this. It's always about making it happen and making the best of what we've got. And for all of you watching here tonight, thank you for making it the best it can be. I mean that sincerely. As the principal of Marquette, I couldn't be more proud of our school here tonight. I couldn't be more proud of our students and our, our alumni that reached out. Couldn't be more proud of everybody that's helped out to make tonight a success. And I think we might be about ready for the cash raffle. All right. Um, oh, good, good point. So if you would like to purchase, if you would like to purchase Gail and Rogers canned beef, those are going to be available even after this auction. Just give us a call at the school. We're selling uh, the um, cans or the jars of canned beef for $100. And if you would like six homemade pizzas and a five-quart bucket of malts, and again, the different flavors, chocolate's a specialty, but there's more, $280 if you'd like to do that. Those are the winning bids. And Gail Mickles and Roger Manders have come out and said, we want to continue to support Marquette. We want to do it that way. Awesome. Thank you so much for your support. But they're also supporting the other families here that are saying, you know what? There's a lot more that we can do too. So thank you so much. And I want to find out if we're ready. Are we ready for the cash raffle? We, we are close. They said we are close. So we are almost ready for the cash raffle. I have six in here, so I don't think I should be the one drawing. I will, I will not draw, but I will spin it. I will happily do that. All right. I'm going to grab... One more thing here. We got a crew putting the golf balls away. Okay, whose crazy idea was this? Yeah. Hey, somebody said, hey, whose crazy idea was this? You know, again, necessity is the mother of all invention. And uh, knowing that we, we wanted to play bingo with you here tonight, and I know that there were people looking forward to playing bingo. We might be able to do something like that at another time. The problem was, is we got people joining on Bellevue Live TV. We got people that are watching on YouTube. There's a delay for every one of Facebook and Zoom. All have slightly different delays. And if we were trying to play bingo and having people have to call in if they got bingo, it just wasn't going to work. And we realized that and started thinking, well, what else can we do? And that question of what else can we do, I said, you know, we started having this idea about the golf balls. I talked to our athletic director, um, and our activities director, Isaac Schmidt, Isaac Storm, and he said, you know, hey, we, we don't have golf balls. I thought, oh, we got a golf team. How do we not have golf balls? He goes, well, we don't, we don't go outside to hit them, so we just have these little, you know, these little uh, soft ones. So we contacted the Bellevue Golf Course on Friday, and they said, we'll give you 350. We asked for 100. They said, we'll give you 350. We said, all right, we're set. And then that didn't work. Then we have people running us golf balls throughout the course of the night. So we could have nearly 500 golf balls put into a container so that way we could dump them all out. I mean, that, that, is, that is crazy amount of support. And so I, I, I know that the people picking up those golf balls, they like picking up every single one of those golf balls because every single one of those was, was given out of care and out of love for our school. Oh, wow. All right. We still have, we, and that's just on, that's just on one. Okay. So we still have people watching for this cash raffle. If you do tune out tonight, we thank you for watching. We are going to stay live until we do uh, make this raffle and we can bid everyone good night. We'll ring the bell one more time here as the night comes to an end. If you did win something, we will be able to get those to you um, next week. And I believe that you'll, well, uh, let me just check here real quick. Krenz, I don't mean to bug you. If somebody, if somebody wants something, how would we like to get it to them? Should have probably thought about this. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you can make it in Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday this week during regular school hours, you, you know we know what you won. If you have to make a payment, come up here Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. We'll collect whatever it was because, again, we'd prefer check or cash. If you do have to pay over credit card, you can do that that way too. Um, but we will, we will be open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to pick something. If you want to pick something up, if you can't be here Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, just let us know when, you, when it will work for you and we'll make sure that somebody's here. Somebody's at the school all day. Um, you know, but, but tonight was such a success and, uh, we, we, now, now, now it's kind of like the, huh. and we haven't had a lot of successes lately. I mean, you know, when it comes to all the things going on, it always seems like bad news comes more than good news. So when we can celebrate good news together and afterwards take a breath and say, huh, that feels, that feels very good. So thank you again for joining in and helping us have some great news here tonight. We made, we made tonight work, and we had, we had a lot of hands on deck helping. And uh, again, we couldn't have, done it without, couldn't have done it without our sponsors, couldn't have done it without our donors, couldn't have done it without our volunteers, couldn't have done it without our bidders. So thank you all so, so very much. All right. Whew. <laughs> I'm like... I, you know, folks, I'm sorry. I only planned for six hours of material. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, you guys, you know, he's been up here talking for, what is it, eight or no, eight hours, six hours or six 45 minutes? Almost. I mean, we got to give a big shout out to our principal, Mr. Jeffrey Kaiser. I mean, just the effort that he has put in today alone. Thank you. Hey, I, I keep saying it, giving, this is easy to talk about Marquette. It really is. There's there is so much that's going on here that we are excited about. All of our teachers know it. It is easy to talk about Marquette for, for, for days. I can it, do it for six It hours. is because it's a pretty exciting thing, what we have going on here at school and everything. It and it's, we're all very blessed to have you here. Oh, thank but you now I got to put this microphone down because with us standing in front of a camera with two microphones, I feel like we need to sing something from Greece. You're the one I want. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if we have the same song from Greece. We could do like a wagon wheel and get a song there we sing go. along going. We could do that. Yeah. For Freebird. Now we were we were setting this up on Thursday. We we're setting up on Friday, and and even between Thursday and Friday, the amount of changes that we needed to make. We apologize if if, if like some of the stuff seemed last minute. But, but everything right now kind of seems last minute. I mean, things are, things are changing overnight. And uh, with that, we have to change and adapt. And we did. We did. And it wasn't, it wasn't anything I did. It was simply a matter of there's a lot of people behind the scenes that make it easy to talk about Marquette. So I know we have people at home that were helping the monitor. We have people here that were helping the monitor the chats. And uh, we still have about 80 people that are watching. Um, so, so thanks for sticking on for almost an hour of really nothing too much happening, but something is about to happen. $2,000 are about to be won. Actually, a total of $3,000 are about to be won. So if you were Bob Kaiser right now, again, if you're my dad and say, how many chances do I have to win? And you buy a ticket for every chance you have to win. I, don't, I actually don't know how many chances there are to win. I don't know how many, how many winning uh, cards we draw. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Hey, thank you all so much. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a question here in just a second. I do have a total for helping hands. Um, helping hands and projectors, $1,800. Helping hands for elementary upgrades, $1,875. The Dan Petish, um, donating in memory of Dan Petish, $940. So thank you to the class of 1982. Thank you, for Jamie, for reaching out tonight and saying, like, let's make this happen. I, I can't think of a better way to honor a great man. Thank you so much for doing that. Our total for Theology of the Body, $925. And for the COVID relief, this does not include the Mike Hansen's 5000 correct? This does not include the, the donation that Mike Hansen gave of 5000 So COVID relief for next year. And think about all the things we're going to be able to do with this. A total of $10,050 being given for COVID relief for us. Hey, you made my heart a lot lighter tonight because what we're able to do with that, instead of wondering, again, what can we do and how can we make it work? We know exactly how we can make it work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to be putting in 
about, oh gosh, this is, this is like, I don't know, 50 cards, 60 cards that I get put in here. You got to be smarter than the cage, Kaiser. All right, here we go. It, it, it was, but I couldn't open it the way it was. All right, there we go. All right, we're entering the last in here. This is it. All right, Karenza, you are on camera right now. That was the th one thing she wanted to avoid tonight. She, she did make it on the camera. So if you are joining us still, please send a thank you to Karenza. That's who you've been talking with tonight. If you've been making phone calls, if you've been emailing, Karenza will work to get you emailed back on all the people that have been trying to reach out to her. Thank you so much. This is all we have for the cash raffle. And by all we have, I mean, we have a lot here. And be smarter than the cage, Kaiser. All right. We're going to spin this around. How many, I need help on this. I don't know how many we're drawing and what the prizes are. I know the top prize is $2,000. Okay, so we'll do the $250 drawing first. And then we'll do a $750 drawing. And then we will do a $2,000 drawing. So if you, win the, if you win all three, you walk away with $3,000. So Bob Kaiser... You, my dad, you better have three entries in here. Does anybody not have any entries in here? Sorry to put you on the spot. I'd rather somebody who doesn't have an entry do the drawing. J just, okay. Hey, look, Junior, I know Junior Steinus is out there probably watching right now. He always maintains the integrity of our auctions. I'll do the drawing. Junior, I'm not looking. I'll turn away. $250 richer tonight. Oh, hey, we have somebody who's a Mar young Marquette alumni. So, Clara Capron, congratulations. You have won yourself $250 in our first drawing. Now we are going to do one for $750. $750, boy, what could that get you? I'm trying to think of all the cool things I could get with $750. I'm thinking a new guitar, thinking a pedal board. Boy, Kelsey's probably, you know, she's not watching right now. The kids are asleep. So maybe she found that she was able to turn it back on. She's like, you better not, Kaiser. All right, let's see what we got. $750. Jim Klein. Thank you, Jim. And Jim Klein is walking away with $750. And we have one more entry. The two foul, or what? Well, we have a lot of entries. We have one more drawing. And then we will ring the bell one final time here tonight and say goodnight to you. We have $2,000 to be won here. I could get a lot of guitars for that. Oh, get, or one really nice one, yes. Kelsey wants me to have more guitars. All right, let's see what we got. We got $2,000. If I draw my own name, I'll put it back here and give it back. Let's see what we got. Loris Kilberg. Loris Kilberg, $2,000 winner. Congratulations. And by the way, who's the winner tonight? We all are because we all stood up for Marquette. We stood up for a small Catholic school in a rural community. And we said Catholic education is important. We said Marquette is important. We said our kids are important. We said our future is important. And here we go, folks. Raise that glass one last time here tonight. And let's have a great night. And let's move forward through the summer. Let's ring that bell. Everyone have a great night. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 Magic of Children. Cheers to you.